0.1 micron materials, uh, which actually, uh, if you know anything about the N95 masks that have been so popular, those are tested at 0.3 micron uh, filtering level. And so um, awesome masks, great product, uh, and have certainly been a fan favorite. It's been our number one selling product this year for obvious reasons. Phenomenal product. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. So I have another question and Adam kind of alluded to it. You talk about how like the cloths are absorbing the different bacteria. No rules, no fabric softener and use a free and clear uh, detergent. Obviously we would recommend Norwex, but there's a lot of free and clear detergents on the market, that sort of thing. Uh, the, the whole idea is that you don't want to introduce chemicals that are going to clog the fibers and uh, a Quick note about uh, fabric softener. It's not good for Norwex claws uh, in general, but uh, if you go to the store, do you notice that you aren't able to buy fabric softener in bulk size quantities? Uh, the reason that is, is because if it was sold in larger quantities, it would have to have a hazmat label on it because of the chemicals that are contained in it. And so um, you can get away from that by using uh, the Norwex wool dryer balls, um, changing your laundry routine and getting rid of those chemicals that come into contact with your skin because they're trapped in the fibers of the clothes that you're wearing. And are you guys local? We are local. We're right here in South Sioux. So uh, if anybody would like to place an order, we plan to do a local pickup order as a part of the show today. And so people can call us, we'll, we'll add their order to the uh, local pickup order. Uh, so save you guys shipping, we'll cover the shipping and handling on those local orders today. Uh, all of our contact information is in the uh, is on the vendor page uh, for the day. Um, so yeah, absolutely, we'd love to meet up with people. We do a number of deliveries. We put in local orders about once every two weeks um, and then deliver in the community here. So all of Siouxland. Thank you. Um, we're going to kind of get going here in a minute, but Chad and Lisa, do you want to tell our viewers um, a lot of really positive comments about Norwex? I'm looking at our Facebook um, live right now, and um, teachers all should have Facebook or should have Norwex because the cough cleans their whiteboards better than anything else, um, one teacher says, and the dryer balls um, last five years. So mm -hmm. a lot of great longevity um, for your products. And so I think that there's a lot of people interested in Norwex and maybe picking up uh, a couple new things. Can you um, maybe talk about where they can get a hold of you, where they can figure out um, what you have going on today? Absolutely. So our contact information is on the event page. You can give us a call or shoot us a text, 712-259-6595. We'll get you to my cell phone. I'd be happy to visit with you today. Uh, speaking about that longevity and stuff, Amber, all of our products have a 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you try something, you don't like it, uh, you'll get your money back on your purchase. And all of our microfiber is covered with a two-year warranty, uh, that sort of thing. So we want people to buy with confidence, knowing that we'll stand behind their products, that sort of thing. We've been Norwex consultants for about two and a half years now and have really only handled two warranty claims in that entire time with our customers. So good product, but absolutely be happy to visit with you. Shoot us an email, chadlisa.beckus at gmail.com. Uh, you can check our website out at chadlisa.beckus.norwex.biz. And that's all in the, in the, on, our, on the page for the extra, extravaganza. Links to click. Yes. <laughs> Well, thanks, Chad and Lisa. Chad and Lisa also have some really great bundles available on today's disc, um, event page. So if you head to Facebook, um, to Facebook the event page, the one with the orange banner at the top, and click on discussions, all of our vendors are putting um, things that they have in stock or specials that they have for um, the extravaganza customers today. And Chad and Lisa were some of the first to post, and so you're gonna have to scroll all the way down to get to um, their posts, but it will be worth your time. There's some really great deals and um, some of your packages really, they include the products that you talked about today, um, the highlighted products. And so um, I'm really excited for you. Like I said, Norwex has gotten a lot of buzz lately. People are talking about it. And um, I am excited to do, I'm, I'm gonna check out those body cloths for my stinky teenagers for sure. All right, we'd love to have you be a part of an upcoming body cloth challenge, it'd be fun. I might have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys so much for joining us today and please feel free to stick around or 
take a break and come back a little bit later. We love having all of your faces here and um, kind of engaging with each other. So we appreciate you being a part of the Cardinal Extravaganza. Chad and Lisa have been um, extravaganza vendors for the past three years. And so um, it's so fun to see our vendors come back year after year. And so we appreciate that support. And you do a wonderful job um, with your students and the whole thing, and you make it a fun event to uh, participate in. So we really appreciate you and all of your hard work that you do to get this going. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, speaking of um, this event and what this event is all about, is um, it's all about our students. And so we work really hard for the Cardinal Extravaganza um, to be successful because the funds that we raise through the Cardinal Extravaganza support students and they support our National Honor Society. But the students that we're gonna talk about um, right now are the Educators Rising students. And Educators Rising has been an organization at South Sioux City High School for about four years now. And um, the organization supports kids who are interested in becoming teachers one day. And so this is something that I can get really behind because I love teaching. I think it's such a beautiful profession to be a part of. And I love helping um, young people discover that passion. And so I um, asked a couple of our Ed Rising students to come on today and to just kind of talk about their journey. And so um, I have three, it looks like three of them who've joined in with us today. And it's very exciting. Um, Mackenzie and Claudia and um, Candace are all here with us today. And um, what's kind of fun is Candace is not a high school student anymore. She's on to college and yet she's still coming back to support Educators Rising and to talk a little bit about Ed Rising. And so I don't wanna steal their thunder or steal their glory. I'm gonna just ask them to share about our experiences. And so Candace, would you be willing to talk first um, and just talk to us a little bit, um, Candace. Thank you, first of all, for being here today. I really appreciate it. But um, can you talk to us a little bit about Ed Rising? Um, you were one of the first members here four years ago when we were kind of muddling through this, trying to figure out what we were going to do with Ed Rising. Um, and then you really left a mark um, in our school based on your performance or based on your experience here with Ed Rising. So I just love to hear or for you to share with our viewers today, um, what was being a part of this organization um, like for you and how has it helped prepare you for college and for what you're experiencing right now? Yeah, okay, so um, I joined Educators Rising when I was a freshman in high school. I had always known that I wanted to be a teacher. I just didn't know how to kind of get on that pathway. And then by joining Educators Rising, I was introduced to many different things that helped show me the education world. And I just, I fell in love with it. And I was able to compete twice nationally. I gave speeches about why I wanted to become a teacher and gun violence in schools. And um, I got to take a bunch of different classes through South Sioux City that helped prepare me for college now. I'm actually gonna take another education class next semester and I have to start preparing for the Praxis exam before I could take more. But yeah, Educators Rising has helped me a lot and I am so grateful that I was able to be a part of it. For the students who are still in high school, they're still a part of Educators Rising. Um, they haven't kind of crossed that threshold into college now. What would be some things that you would say um, you're, you learned from being a part of Ed Rising that have benefited you now as college in comparison to maybe some students who are in your classes who didn't have those same experiences? Um, I just, I had a family, I guess. I consider Educators Rising a family. So a group of people that could support me in my dreams. And it was just nice having people believe in me, I guess and put me on such a high pedestal that I could reach those goals for myself. Yeah. All right, well, thanks. Um, I'm gonna shoot on over to Claudia here. Now, Claudia has been a member of Ed Rising um, for four years, I believe, right, Claudia? For three years. For three years. And the reason that I said I wasn't for sure if it was three or four years is because when I first met Claudia, she was so quiet. 
And um, it might have taken her two and a half years to say her first words to me. And so um, when we see Claudia here today, who um, is willing to come on and to talk with you guys, I'm just really proud of how far you've come, Claudia, and how much you've grown. And so I would love for you to share a little bit with our viewers about um, Educators Rising and what your goals are and how you're using Educators Rising and um, what we have going on here at South Sioux City to help you get to those goals. Well, um, Educators Rising has really helped me like throughout, like how you said, like how I was really quiet and it's helped me like be more talkative and be a little more loud and like be talkative in the classroom. And it's helped me really find like my like passion for teaching. Like I really like wanna be an educator one day. And I think educators really helped a lot with that because it just like all the things we did like really showed like what the education field is like. And it was just really interesting to me to see it. Um, could you talk to me a little bit about like, what do you remember as maybe a highlight? What's one of the things that you've enjoyed the most um, in the last three years is your involvement in Educators Rising? Um, some of my favorite things about Educators Rising was, um, well, is when we like have our speakers come, like last year, I know we had a lot of speakers come and talk to us about like their teaching experiences and like how they, um, like all the things they do, even like if they're not like teachers, they're like, um, educational careers. Like I like um, listening about like other people's um, journeys on like how they became educators. And also um, I really enjoyed talking to the Board of Education and just like seeing what it's like for them to like, um, like what their meetings are like and like everything like that. And going to City Hall was really cool, like representing Educators Rising. That was really fun. I also really like all these, like the extravaganzas. I really like these, like, um, I remember the first year, like I've always worked with just the kids because I really liked work. I really like working with kids and like, that's how I found um, what I like, like what I would like to teach, which is elementary students because like working with the kids was just so fun. I love it. And I love that um, the extravaganza, the event itself has um, not only benefited educators rising financially to help us provide opportunities for kids, but the extravaganza itself provides an opportunity for you to get some experience working with kids and to develop some leadership. And so um, I just, I'm so proud of how far you've come. And I'm so, I, I'm just so pleased that you're here today and you're articulating yourself so well. And um, I'm just very proud of you. And so you. I appreciate you being here and sharing with us. Thank um, Mackenzie, um, I want to talk a little bit to you right now. Um, Mackenzie has been a four-year member. She's one of our um, beginning members of Educators Rising. And so she's walked through this journey and it's been a journey for sure. And, um, but Mackenzie probably brings to the table some really interesting experiences. She's been to nationals a couple of years and I'll let you talk a little bit about nationals because I think that that you and Candace both had the opportunity to um, experience that and I think that that was a big deal and also because that's um, largely what we fund through the proceeds of Educators Rising. So um, can you talk to us a little bit about nationals and what that is and how you get there? A lot of people probably have no idea they're like educators competitions like you compete that doesn't make any sense. So talk a little bit about what that looks like. So we do competitions every single year. We have state and nationals. Um, each student gets to decide what kind of competition they want to compete in. Candice did, she does speeches. I do, um, I videotape myself teaching a lesson and then I show it to the judges and we talk about it. That one's my specialty, I guess. Um, when I was a freshman, I made it to nationals because there was only five people in my category. I got third out of five. So, I mean, I've definitely worked my way up from there, but nationals is the same thing. We have a lot of breakout sessions. Um, we compete at nationals too. So we do our competition two times if we make it to nationals. Um, yeah, we see lots of great teachers. Er, breakout sessions and stuff. We've actually seen the National Teachers of the Year both years. Um, 
yeah, we, I don't know what else to say really. We do a lot of fun things. We do fun activities. We have dances at nationals. We, <laughs> we always go um, to like an amusement park. They always have fun things to do, but yeah. Candace, you want to talk about nationals for you? Uh, yeah, so uh, me and Mackenzie actually went to nationals the same year, the first time for us. Um, I was a sophomore, she was a freshman, and it was the first time that South Sioux City Educators Rising actually got to go to nationals. And it was just an amazing experience being around so many different people from all across the country. And we got to see so many amazing speakers and the breakout sessions too. Those were great to go to. And it was nice just getting to be closer with everyone, I guess, because there was a lot of people that I went with that I hadn't really talked to a lot before, but we got super close over that journey. Yeah, that's when I realized that we had become a family, that we made a super tight group. And from then, like, we all, we all still talk today, like that, that group, it was just, it was really cool. Yeah. But after that, I worked my way up. Um, I'm actually a state officer this year for Educators Rising. Um, I'm a state secretary. So during quarantine, we actually had to go through the process of election and getting chosen. So that's really fun. I mean, this year is a little harder because we don't have all of the in-person events that we are hoping to have but it's still fun and it's still like nice being able to talk to other girls. I would have never, never known them. And they're, it's just, it's really cool making connections with other people and having that leadership status, I guess, and being able to contribute to this program. So Mackenzie, I'm gonna ask you a straight up question because I know the answer to this, but I think that it's interesting. Um, throughout high school have you always wanted to be a teacher and how has being a part of educators rising um helped you process that decision yeah so was it my sophomore year um i kind of went through a little i don't know i just i started second guessing my decisions on what i wanted to do and I was like, I want to be a flight attendant. I wanted, I just kind of wanted to see like and explore other jobs and stuff. And so, um, yeah, I was still part of Ed Rising and I still went to state and I still went to nationals that year, but it was just a little harder for me. And my junior year, I definitely got back on track. Um, I've always been super close to Mrs. Myers. So she really helps me a lot um, with that. And I, yeah, it was just, it was a little spunk, but now we're, we're back. <laughs> and so I want each one of you to just share out kind of as we're um, finishing up, I want you to share, first of all, let everybody know what is it that you want to teach? What do you want to study? I think that that's um, kind of fun to know what your goals look like right now. And then, um, I'd love to have you give a piece of either a nugget of something you'd like the community to know about Educators Rising or what you might say to any students that are seeing you here about why they should get involved. So Candace, you look like you're ready to get going. So why don't you start? Again, remember Candace is already in college. She graduated from South Sioux last year. Um, she did an excellent speech on trauma and foreign teaching. Um, to end her senior year here. And so I was very confident sending her off into college. Anybody who could talk about trauma-informed teaching as eloquently as Candace did um, in her senior project was well-prepared in my opinion to head to um, college and really make an impact. And I am just, I am counting down the years before she comes back here to South Sioux to make um, an impact on our kids. But Candace, why don't you tell us what is it that you are um, studying to teach and then what would you like people to know about Educators Rising kind of as a final thought? So I am a freshman at Wayne State College and I am currently studying science education and I am focusing on middle level. And there's just so many great things about Educators Rising that I could say. It's really impactful. I know I wouldn't be the person I am today if I wasn't a part of Educators Rising. 
So to students that are a part of it or want to be a part of it, just do it. Just get out there, get out of your comfort zone because it will make you a better person. Claudia, what about you? What do you um, want to teach and what would you say to students or community members um, to help them understand educators rising more? Um, I'm planning on teaching um, elementary education. So like somewhere like in second grade or something. And um, something I would say to like other students, like maybe like incoming freshmen or something. Um, like when I was a freshman, I was like, um, I just wanted to be involved in something. And I saw that educators rising with something, but then I saw like that they went to nationals and all that. And like, that was kind of intimidating, but I still did it anyways, because of all the volunteer work and all the other act fun activities that you can do. And then um, while being in it, I just found out that I really liked education. And I would just encourage other students to like, just go out there and just explore, like, especially for those who like, don't know like what exactly they want to do or like if there's like undecided like to definitely like take educators rising into consideration because it's a really good group and i think it has really um um like it's really helped me understand that like i want to be a teacher one day and i really encourage other students to like do the same like even if they were like really quiet like how i was like that'd be a really good thing to do because it really brings um, you out of your comfort zone. And it like, really like, even just volunteering, like doing something. And I think it's a really good group to just be involved in. Claudia, I really um, appreciate that you brought up the idea that when we talk about going to nationals, that can be kind of intimidating and scare people off because, um, as you kind of heard, and even from Candace and Mackenzie, we get really excited about it. We have a really fun time and it's a really good memory, but we know that that's not um, what everybody is looking for in an organization. And so I appreciate that you're talking about that there's so much that you can do that's not associated with competition and bringing that to the table. And so um, would you encourage kids who are not involved, interested in getting um going to competition to be involved yeah definitely I really would like there's like things like this like our extravaganza it's like just like volunteering and helping out like for kids to like just like just to be in something you know and just to be involved in school like and it'll help them like do better in school and like actually want to be in school and stuff like it'll like really motivate them I think it's a really good group I really do Awesome. Thank you, Claudia. How about you, Mackenzie? Um, kind of wrap us up here. Talk to me a little bit about what do you want to teach? What are you thinking about going um, to study? And what would you tell people who are just learning about what Educators Rising is? Yeah, so I want to teach elementary special education. And um, something I would really recommend is definitely get involved, even if it's the Cardinal Extravaganza, if you wanna to go to nationals, if you want to go to our showcases, which isn't competitions, it's just a whole bunch of speakers. That really impacted me my freshman year. I heard a speaker and it, I still remember everything she said. So yeah, just anything, um, just do it. And there's things we do in our school like, teacher appreciation, like all of that stuff. We have so much to offer. So just depending on what your comfort level is, just, yeah, just get out there and try it out. Awesome. Well, I wanna thank you guys for jumping on Zoom today. I know that that can be kind of nerve wracking to jump on and to know that you're gonna be broadcast out to who knows how many people. And um, so I just appreciate your willing to be willingness to be leaders and to come and um, talk to people and to share your experiences and um, let people know about Ed Rising. So thanks guys, I'm gonna let you go back. Claudia is kind of our behind the scenes gal. She's running all of our Facebook comments and stuff today. And Mackenzie's doing some bidding from home. She's quarantined right now. So she's at home and um, she's still engaging and participating during quarantine. And Candace, you probably have finals coming up pretty soon. So things to take care of. So we appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time out of your day to, um, to join us and um so thanks so much for that thank you see you guys all right now before we jump in with our next vendors
in. We're a little bit behind schedule. We had some tech issues at the beginning of the day, but we are just having a great time and we appreciate all of you joining in with us. I wanna just remind you to go ahead and log into the Cardinal Extravaganza webpage. The vendors pages are all there. You can link straight to them and shop with them. Um, and please support them. One of the most exciting parts about the Cardinal Extravaganza is that we wrap our arms around small businesses. We, um, our South Sioux City is a community school where um, we get tons of community support and we love to be able to pass that support back out to the community. And so in the midst of this pandemic, a lot of the small business owners that are with us today just haven't had the opportunity to go to shows and to um, promote their products as much as they typically would. And so please, please, please head out and shop with them. You can do that at the um, Cardinal Extravaganza webpage. Um, when you go to the webpage, you're also gonna see um, an opportunity to bid on our um, auction items. And so all of the money that you bid for the auction items goes back to help students um, attend our national conventions and our showcase conferences, um, as well as to put on different programs and volunteer events and activities that we do with the club. So um, those are, um, it's a big help for us here. Um, this event is our primary fundraiser of the year. So this is how we make our money to support kids who wanna be future teachers. And if you're paying attention at all, you know that there's a huge teacher shortage in our nation and um, the pandemic is not helping the situation at all. And so we certainly want to encourage and um, support those students who are embracing this profession as much as we can. Now, the other thing you can check out when you're shopping with our vendors is head over to the event page on Facebook. And if you click the discussion tab of the event page, you're going to see um, a whole list of different products that our vendors have been posting throughout the week. And you can um, shop with them that way and engage with them in that way. And um, again, that's on the event page. You can get to that either by Facebook or um, there's a link right on the Cardinal Extravaganza website. So I wanna go ahead and um, just jump right back into talking to our vendors. They've been waiting really patiently. Um, like I said, we're a little bit behind schedule today and we appreciate our vendors so much for just hanging with us as we kind of navigate this new type of vendor fair. By the way, we miss having you here. We miss the energy. Um, that is the Cardinal Extravaganza, but we're gonna make do with what we have. And so um, I'm gonna welcome um, Maridel. Maridel has been a vendor here with the Cardinal Extravaganza since the inception of the Cardinal Extravaganza. And what I appreciate so much about Maridel is this, is I sent out an email and I said, hey, we can't have our extravaganza and I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try to do something. And she sends me back a message almost immediately and says, I don't know what you're going to do either, but I'm on board. I trust you. And um, that was a really a big boost of confidence with me, um, to me, to know that um, she, she believed in us. She believed in supporting us. And so um, I just appreciate so much that. And I want to give her a chance to talk about her snap jewelry and um, what she has going on. Um, you're gonna to wanna to check out her snap jewelry on the auction. It's all Huskers. So I know we're not watching a lot of football these days, but we can still support the Huskers, okay? So Maridel, why don't you go ahead, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you um, do and how you got there. Okay, um, just wanna say that the snap button stuff is just a actually a small part of what I do. I actually do a lot of beaded um, type work jewelry. But I kind of fell in love with the snap buttons by accident a few years ago, and I've just kind of gone crazy with them. They're just so much fun. Um, as far as how I kind of got started as a vendor, um, I started out several years ago just making some wine charms for myself and then for family. And someone said, well, you should try selling those. So then from there, I kind of got a big stock of those up and someone said, gee, I'd like to wear those as a pair of earrings. <laughs> and I was like, gee, I wonder if I know how to make jewelry. So I kind of learned how to make jewelry all on my own. And now I do a variety of beaded jewelry and also the snap jewelry that I like a lot. But I can show you some of the start with some of the snap jewelry if you want to look at that. Yeah, show us what you have. Okay. Um, so this, the snap jewelry, 
And I don't know how good this is going to actually show up. Let's do something like this, maybe. So there's a wide variety of like bracelets and necklaces, and um, I have earring earrings that these can snap into. But in my shop today, I have a kind of a limited amount of items just so that it's easier to uh, um, shop through there. Just kind of uh, trying to make Facebook's shop interface a little more easy to navigate. So I don't have a ton of stuff there, but I've got some of my newest product in there. And this is like a nice soft bracelet. It's got some really nice uh, texture, kind of like snake skin or alligator. And this would fit like a medium to large wrist. And then there's the snap buttons that just snap in and out. And some of the items I am selling with a snap button in them. And then you have the option of some other snap buttons I have on there, uh, such as the Santa hat, and then snap that in there. And then some of the other bracelet options that I have are like this stretchy um, bracelet or this really pretty kind of braided wire one that just kind of slips off and on the wrist really easily and I do I, the uh, auction item I did I have several of the Husker buttons in there but I have a few left in my store also so and that is kind of a snap button so on that snap jewelry let's say they buy like that snap bracelet which by the way is beautiful that little like weavy one that you just had on I love it and um, so the different snaps, they can have different, like they could buy a variety of different kinds of snaps and use those on the same bracelet. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. Like uh, this is a really cute bumblebee that is newer. And oh gosh, I've got some really cute things on there. Um, there's a really pretty snowflake one that has all different colors in it. That would be really nice. But yeah. Anything that you see that says snap on it, it means it's interchangeable and all the snaps are interchangeable with those items. So awesome. several different bracelets with minimal pieces. Mm -hmm. So what else besides snap jewelry? Okay, so to give you an idea what I really kind of am about is doing beads. And this is a glass pearl necklace. And every single bead here has been hand wrapped, kind of like a pendant. And this one is just a nice cluster necklace. It could actually be a bridal necklace, or it's also really cute with um, a sweater or a blazer. So when I am on a long trip, I am known for taking beads and wire with me so I don't bother my husband about his driving. <laughs> but anyway, I've, I've got necklaces like that. And then I also do, um, I have a lot of charms and they're a lot of fun. Um, today I have some different like inspirational type charms. This one is like has teacher on it and then it's got a really nice weight um, apple on it, which would make a really nice teacher's gift for someone. But I do a lot of those. When I go to actual sh shows, I probably have a few hundred different charms with me. And I also have beads with me where people can actually just pick different colors to put with those items. But I have a few different items on, on my Facebook page today. This is for a coffee lover um, and then a coffee cup. Kind of looks like Starbucks coffee cup on it. That's really cute. It'd be a cute gift for a coffee lover in your life. Or tea. I think someone's going to be talking about tea here soon. No, never mind. They've, they've been here. And some other items that I do. And I usually have several available, but uh, for the ease of shopping, I just have a few different items like this available where I've actually taken um, beads that I've wired and put them into chain links. And then this is like a double 
chain with a really cute pendant, double-sided pendant. And I had hand make the um the tassel and stuff here. So those are fun. And when I knew that I was going to be doing that this this year, I decided to go with a cardinal theme. So I was looking for some cardinal charms and I found these very adorable um, cardinal charms and they're, they're hard to find. So I have a variety of items available. I decided to just keep these really simple because people have a variety of tastes and it's just easier to shop, um, just keeping it simple. So I have necklaces, uh, some bracelets with this cardinal on it and some earring sets. So that's something that cardinal fans might want to take a look at. And then the other thing that I have done specifically for this show is to uh, kind of hopefully get people into the holiday spirit. And I've been making some different snowflake jewelry items and there's necklaces and earrings and I also, I have some that are ready for gift giving. And there's a nice little poem on here about snowflakes that no two are alike, but all are different and beautiful. Um, so that's a nice little gift idea. And, oh, one more thing. I just love these little reindeer. And again, I'm not sure how well these show up, but I got these cute little charms and I've made some, uh, bracelets and earrings and um, I also have some necklaces with that reindeer and with snowflakes they're on this nice snake chain and I've put them on there with links that will actually slide off of here so you can just wear this necklace with just the uh, the beads that I've wrapped or you can wear it with just a snowflake. And for like after Christmas, while we still have winter around, you could just wear it with a snowflake. So that kind of makes the uh, jewelry a little more usable. But that's kind of what I've got. I've got quite a bit of items, but you can get a much better look at them if you go over to Beaded Charm and click the shop button and you'll see what I've put up there specifically for this show. Perfect. Thank you. I was going to say some of them are a little bit hard to see up on that camera. So um, yeah. people will be able to see the close up pictures a little bit better on your Facebook page. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And very good pictures on there. <laughs> yeah, you do. And so um, they can get to your Facebook page by going to the Cardinal Extravaganza webpage. And then the link is right in there. And this is Beaded Charm by Meridal, right? And so yep. I think like the second vendor or something on the Facebook page right at the beginning there and so they can hop over. Now, Marilyn, do you custom, if some people have an idea and they're looking and they have something kind of in their head, can they reach out to you and um, like, has that ever happened before? Do you make jewelry based off what people have envisioned in their head? Usually what happens, what works the best is like when I'm actually at a vendor fair and I have all my different chains and all my different beads and charms, people, I actually right there will get out my pliers and I will um, do beads and charm uh, necklaces and whatnot. Um, certainly if they see some things that they would like to see combined or they kind of think, oh, I don't like that part of that, I can add or subtract. And also when you see like some of the chain looking, link necklaces if you want it in a different length I can adjust the length so yep they can just reach out to me and uh, discuss any of those types of changes they'd like to see perfect thank you and again I want to encourage everybody to support Maridel because she was the first on board for this vendor fair and man did we ne we needed a leader and she was it so we appreciate that and I want to take okay. a minute just for um a second and talk about National Honor Society is the other organization who benefits from the Cardinal Extravaganza. You had an opportunity a minute ago to hear um, from some of our Ed Rising students and there'll be some time later on to hear from National Honor Society. But I wanna introduce you to the sponsor of National Honor Society um, here at South Sioux City and the um, kind of co-host of today's event. And so I'm gonna just slide out of the view for a minute. We're gonna introduce Carrie Cravens and Carrie is going to talk with um, Kay and Tastefully Simple and kind of um, go ahead and 
um, learn a little bit about what we should be getting from Tastefully Simple. But before we do that, I'm gonna slide in. This is Carrie Cravens and she'll get just going. Hey everyone, good morning. Um, as, as Amber said, I am the sponsor for National Honor Society this year and I'm very excited to co-host the event today. And you know, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get started with Kay. Good morning. Good morning. So I am a complete newbie to Tastefully Simple. How would you introduce me to this? Well, I would introduce you to the idea that Tastefully Simple is something that you usually only need one or two ingredients or open and serve. So it's simple. I would also tell you that 85% of our line is TS Eat Well, which means it has no hydrogenated oils, artificial flavors or colors, no added sugar, no added ingredients. So that's a real plus in regards to Tastefully Simple. It's been around, um, it was our 25th anniversary this summer. So it's been around a while and um, it's good food. Wonderful. Could you tell us about some of your favorite products? Um, yeah, I would say some of our fav my favorite products probably are some of the sauces as well as the seasonings. I like that the seasonings, and I've got a few here, um, but I like that the seasonings have a lid that's only two tablespoons, so it's very easy to mix. A lot of our seasonings also make are made into dips, so um, it's just simple and easy to do. Awesome. Uh, one of my favorite sauces this season is our spiced apple sauce. Um, this it's spiced apple berry. Awesome on your ham that's coming up. Awesome on your turkey. We also enjoy it on pork. And believe it or not, you can also put it over ice cream. So, and it is a client special for this month with a $50 order on um, the website. You can add that at a 25% discount. Awesome. And how is it that people can find out more about your products? Do you have a Facebook page or a website that they can check out? Um, yes, um, I have a Facebook page. It's um, Facebook TS5K, but it, I also have a website. And um, I think the link is on, I know the link is on the um, event, but that's also a place where you can order. What I'd like to say a little bit though is um, this morning I was, I posted something on the page about the holiday baking kit um, because the baking kit is something that I think we're getting ready for holidays and we're thinking about what we can do. And um, so what I did, had, did is I made up some of the cookies that are in the baking kit and I baked a few up this morning. Um, I'm trying to think if you can see these and how I can hold them. This is just actually three of them. It's some monster cookies. It's some almond cookies with um, the rhubarb strawberry and some snickerdoodle cookies but um, I haven't gotten the rest of them made, but the package actually includes um, eight different products and you can make over 15 dozen cookies with them. What I do often is I have them made and frozen and then I just pull out, like I did this morning, a couple of each variety and bake them up. So I'm always having fresh cookies during the holiday season. Oh, that's great. Those look wonderful. Um, what other things do you have offered for the holiday season? Um, a new product that just came out this week is our Serp Trio. Um, it's a product that you can add to your, for our coffee lovers out there. They can add that to it. It includes the salted caramel, the vanilla, and um, the mocha syrup. And so um, it goes in coffee. It can go in uh, French toast or even syrup over your pancakes. No sugar, no carbs, no calories. So that's kind of an added feature, I think, for us when we're thinking about holidays, we're always worried about packing on the pounds, but that product does not have that in it. Got a few other gift items um, that I think about. Uh, this one, I think, is a real favorite for teachers. It has the little mini spatula in it, and then um, the onion, onion, spinach and herb, and garlic, garlic that can be made into a dip. And so um, just a nice little treat for anyone, or it slides very nicely into a stocking. Another item I think is, is so easy is when we take the loaf pan that we have and we just put a cake inside of it and put a bow on it and it's ready to go. So lots of cute little gift ideas, but I also want us to think about how we can use this every day in our homes. 
the seasonings, the sauces, the beer bread. That's something that um, I haven't said anything about, but we're real famous for our beer bread. Um, it makes the best beer bread. We have single packages. And then if you're looking to entertain or to have a larger gathering, we have the value pack of three packages in them as well. And people can order on the website. If you have a desire to have things um, cash and carried, pick up, we can, I can make arrangements for that as well. Awesome. Thank you for sharing more about that. Um, you know, those are all look like great gift ideas for the holidays and hopefully that uh, people will come out and check those out. Absolutely. And there's a few pictures on Facebook of some of our favorite things like the corned bean black salsa, the artichoke and spinach dip. Um, our frozen apple cider bucket is pretty popular as well. You can buy that in a single or a triple and um, you can make that how you want. Some like it warm with bourbon. Other people like it cold um, with um, rum chata and fireball whiskey. Not that I'm really promoting alcohol, but I just wanted to say that that's another option that a lot of people are enjoying this time of the year. I've been selling a lot of them. So standard products. Um, I've posted quite a few different ideas on, on the Facebook page this week, um, giving you ideas of different things. And if people have questions, I'm more than willing to answer them. Great. Thank you so much, Kay. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us? Um, I'd like to say that it's opportunity. the opportunity to be with you today has been wonderful. And um, it's been smooth on my part, other than the technology issues. But you know, hey, everybody has technology issues once in a while. I myself do too. So um, I'm grateful that I can help other people in the education field because I myself am a part-time educator as well. Great, thank you so much, Kay. Um, I'm gonna slide out here and let Amber join the Zoom again. And it was wonderful speaking with you. You bet, thank you, appreciate it. It's like you got it down. Yeah. Well, all right, welcome back. So I uh, imagine you had a lot of really good things to say, Kay. Thank you for letting me slide out for just a second. So not a problem. <laughs> it happens. So, um, I'm trying to think of where we're at now. I gotta get my um, kind of bearings about me. Now, tell me, you said, well, just because I wasn't here, what's the number one thing that I have to buy from Tastefully Simple? Um, I would say beer bread. Beer bread. Now that's on our auction item. Why is that like your favorite thing? Because it's our number one seller for Tastefully Simple. And so um, that's part of the reason why I did the cozy comfort for you because it gives you the soup, it gives you the beer <laughs> that, to go with it and it gives you the dessert. So I really love that because I think about um, Tastefully Simple, it's pretty easy to make those things. And as a uh, a busy sports mom kind of person in the winter when I have kids going in a hundred different directions, being able just to throw something together really quickly so we're not eating out every single night is a huge advantage. So I think Tastefully Simple does a lot for people like me, right? They have a lot of products and things that help people like me. Absolutely. And we have our meal kits where you can do some meal preps in advance and throw it in the crock pot and make something or your Instapot. Um, we have other um, options as well. And so I think because you only need one or two items to make it, it's just simple and easy and it tastes good. Well, that's my style because I can't cook. So if you can make it so I only have to put two things in the pot, that's going to be really good for me. And my family would appreciate that too, because yeah, um, cooking is not where my strengths are. So I love it when it's a little bit easier. Well, and that's why the meal kits are nice is because you get all the ingredients, you get the recipes, um, you get the directions how to make them. And there's 10 meals for um, less than less than four dollars a serving. You can't go through the drive through for four dollars a serving. That's right. So there's quite a variety. We have the cutting carbs. We have the Instapot or the Crock-Pot one. And we have the 30 minute or, or more. That's the meal kit you probably need, because in 30 minutes, it'll be on your table from fork to table in 30 minutes. Oh, love it. Love it. Meridel, you look like you had something to say about Tastefully Simple. Jump on in. This is not. This yeah, is I just, I just wanted to say that I understand why the beer bread is like their best seller. <laughs> um, I can't bake bread, period. But that is very simple. Um, and there is just nothing better than a warm piece of bread with butter melting on it. 
oh my gosh, comfort food <laughs> and put it with some soup and you got a good meal. So I just wanted to say that. The well, thank you. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I know I need to go bid on that. Oh, <laughs> well, and the other thing is there's lots of different recipes online for you to use um, with the beer bread. Like there's the butterscotch um, breakfast bread, which is on the back of our three pack. But another one that I really like is the one that's got the little mini pepperonis in it and some cheese. And then you make a marinara sauce and you dip that in there. My grandkids absolutely love that one. Mm, sounds delicious. So thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. And thank you for making me really hungry. I think it was ideal that we were uh, pushed back just a little bit because now you're getting everybody's hungry stomachs and we're talking about all these yummy foods. So I was just <laughs> thinking the same thing. <laughs> Maybe you should make some of that beer bread and deliver it. Oh my goodness, it sounds delicious. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being yeah. here today. Yep. Hey, before we move on, I want to talk about one of our vendors who's not going to be able to join us here on live today, and that, uh, or at least not yet, and that's Perfectly Posh. And so, Perfectly Posh, if you can um, take a look at all of their items on the Cardinal Extravaganza um, web page. But we want to do a giveaway right now because we love giveaways here. We want to keep this exciting for us. And so Perfectly Posh um, has some great lotion, some great um, kind of girly events. It makes me think of my girlfriends a little bit and um, how we can pamper ourselves. And so nothing better than getting with a girlfriend and pampering yourself. And so I have um, two Perfectly Posh items. Um, as, uh, a shea butter and charcoal bath bar and a jasmine and a pear lotion. And to go along with each one of those items, I have $10 in posh gifts. So $10 a piece. So if you're interested in winning some um, posh cash, posh cash, that's what it's called. If you're interested in winning some posh cash and a little bit of posh items, here's what you have to do. In the comments of our Facebook, I want you to tag your poshiest friend. Yeah, I said it, poshiest friend. And when your poshiest friend responds back, the first person who gets them and their friend to comment in our Facebook, each one of you are gonna get $10. You and your posh friend are getting $10. And one in each, one's gonna get um, the lotion, one's gonna get the bar. And then you can go shop at Perfectly Posh and get a whole bunch of stuff to pamper yourselves and have a little girl's time in. So again, if you're interested in getting the poshiest cash and the posh gift, you're gonna go ahead and in the comment section, tag your poshiest friend. And when they reply back to your comment, you both win. So you guys wanna take care of that right now in the comment section of our Facebook Live. Now, while we're waiting to find out who's super poshy out there, we're gonna go ahead and move back to our vendors. And we're gonna take a minute to talk to Andrea, who is a 31 vendor. So Andrea, thank you so much for joining the Cardinal Extravaganza. We're super glad to have you here. And we've been sort of starting our conversations today with the idea of story and that everybody has a story that brought them to where they are today. And so um, I would love for just to hear from you about how did you decide that 31 was your um, your thing and that you were gonna become a consultant for 31? And what's the story there? Sure, awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it, this is a honor and a pleasure and a fun way to make vendor, vendor events um, happen during all of this pandemic. Uh, almost three years ago, actually, I decided to treat myself and, you know, husbands maybe don't always buy the best birthday gifts. And so I decided that I was going to uh, join and buy the kit and become a 31 consultant. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would continue to do this. I uh, thought I'd maybe, you know, have a couple parties, get some money for some Christmas gifts, get some gifts, uh, some products for gifts as well. And um, here we are three years later. I absolutely love the relationship building and just helping find uh, solution sets for our, um, our customers and guests and just having that great connection with people, so. 
I love it. So tell me a little bit about like the must haves. I have so many 31 bags in my closet and I love, love, love the, um, the large tote, the utility tote, the large one. I take it to the beach. That's kind of our beach bag. And then I have a smaller one that I keep um, whenever we travel or go on a trip, especially around the holidays, we keep it in our car with all our snacks in it. And that's kind of our snack bag. So I am, um, I have lots of uses for 31 and um, I'm interested to hear what are the must have bags? What are people buying? What do you think our customers will want? Yes, we have a lot of great gifting ideas as well as maybe that purse or bag or tote for the moms on the go um, or dads too. Maybe dad needs a new lunchbox or has a bunch of junk that sits in the in the back of his trunk. We're great for organizations, for travel. And we also have a lot of um, home decor items as well too. Um, we have some blankets, some um, wood pieces, some photo options as well. I'll show you a couple that I have here. These are our photo ornaments and they are made on our iron tiles. And we have two different um, designs. We have the circle. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be an actual photo. If you don't want to use a photo, you can find an image somewhere or make up an image and make it. And it comes with a little string as well. And so these just make really great gifting ideas. Um, we also, let's see, we have a sale that's going on um, right now that most of our our um, Christmas items are 25% off. So those are definitely some great things to check out. One of those being the, the uh, close to home wood tray. So if you are getting together or you have a, a wedding coming up or an anniversary, this tray is made of mango wood and has a big wrought iron handles. And you can personalize this in, in several different ways. Um, it is food safe. So if you want to put your um, Christmas cookies or cupcakes or a charcuterie board or something like that, you can totally do that and these wipe really clean or you can just use them as a display piece as well. So we're much more than just bags and totes and uh, weekenders and organization items as well. So. I love it. So talk about teacher gifts because I'm just looking around my office and I'm seeing 31 everywhere. Now my favorite, favorite 31 thing that I have ever had is the thermal, the lunch thermal. Um, I've used mine until it fell apart. And um, what's really cool is that's what you donated for um, an auction item was a lunch thermal. So I highly recommend it. If you're someone out there who takes your lunch to work, you're going to want the lunch thermal. It's super awesome. But um, I also know that a lot of times 31 has um, the little um, cubby things and teachers use them to put their pencils and pens and stuff in. And so um, what are, yes, oh my gosh, yes, that. And so um, talk to me a little bit about what are some of the things that are maybe hot Christmas gifts, items specifically like that. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. So the, the little item here, this is a little Santa's beard. Um, this guy actually is on sale uh, on our 25% off sale, but we also have other ones that are just solid prints or you can put, I've done before, um, my kids go to Elk Point Jefferson School. And so we put the Husky Paw print and EPJ. 90% um, of our products you can personalize and make them especially for you. But these are little great little, like you said, for your pens and things like that. A Kleenex box has a little bungee strap here in the back to put anything back there as well. Yes, lunch, lunch box, uh, lunch thermals are great. This is just our thermal tote and one of our fun little chevron prints that we have this season. This is a great for maybe your smaller um, lunch. Another one of the bigger ones would be this here is around the clock. And it has the ability to have a crossbody and or shoulder strap as well. Um, and this can definitely easily fit your, um, your, you know, plastic containers and those kind of things like that and has a big deep pocket in there as well. Some of our bigger thermals, like maybe you're going to Sam's Club or going on an outing or something like that. We also have, this is our Fresh Market Thermal. And our Fresh Market Thermal is what we have the technology of being leak lock lined. So that means you actually can use ice in here. Fresh Market Thermal also, maybe if you're going to a gathering, you can put a crock pot inside of there or nine by 13, couple nine by 13 pans um, and just kind of keep everything contained. If something spills, you can easily wipe it out. Some other great little gifting ideas. 
maybe not necessarily for a teacher, but if you have a friend that likes wine, we have these fun little wine canvas totes that you can personalize and put their little favorite thing in as well. Teachers and, like wine too. Yeah, right? Teachers <laughs> like wine. You, you know, maybe not bring it to school, but <laughs> um, we also have these super fun little hanging felt bins. The felt is super in and very popular. Just kind of gives that fun homey um, look. These, I don't know if you can see up there, I have masks up there that these are perfect for a little, put a little command hook uh, next to the door and have your masks be able to go in and out. And these also can be personalized and great fun little teacher gift. You could also put a candle or something like that in there for just great little vessels that you don't have to necessarily wrap and it's all right there to go. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. Um, that was something that was really important to me when school first was starting is knowing that my kids and I are all gonna be walking out the door, grabbing a mask on our way out and a mask on the way in and um, having some place to put them, finding the, just the right basket or just the right tote. And so I love that if you're someone who's got the masks all over the house because people don't know where to drop them, um, that, yes, that's a great idea. Yes, and also I have a good idea, uh, have an idea for my kids. We use those and have one that sits on the next to the washer. So when they're done and come in from school, the old masks go in there so they can get redone. And then the new one is, is by the door. So as they're walking out the door, nobody can for, forget their mask. And we also have what these are called our timeless memory pouches. And these are our larger set. These are great. Um, Elf on the shelf or the night before Christmas kind of little things and they're just like a bag so you can just put your items in there this easily fits a pair of shoes because I've used these in the off season if we're traveling and we don't want sandals and shoes and stuff getting in with our luggage um, a you can put you know a pair of Christmas pajamas some hot cocoa something like that and then we also have the little smaller ones that fit a little um, Christmas ornament or um, like a little hot cocoa mix like that. Just great little uh, gifting vessels. Awesome. Um, anybody else who's on right now have any great products from 31 that you um, want to highlight? Things that you think everybody should have? Or how do you use your 31? <laughs> That's great. I love to hear about how, many, how everybody uses 31 because there's lots of different ways. I'm hoping somebody will jump on and tell us how they're using their 31. Um, also, if nobody does have anything, I do have a survey in our uh, the group, the, the event discussion, that if you um, complete the survey, I'm going to be giving away a $25 gift card. I didn't want to forget that. Piece. So yeah, $25 worth of free 31. Yes, we love that. Andrea, thank you so much for being with us today. We're so um, excited to have you. It's a brand new vendor to the Cardinal Extravaganza. And so we are super excited that you chose us for the first time in this sort of a format, which is really unusual and um, unknown. And so um, thank you so much for being a part of our event. We really enjoy having you. Well, thanks for having me. And if anybody has any questions, don't feel, don't hesitate. Just reach out. I'd be glad to help you with some of your gifting needs. Perfect. All right. I'm going to shout out to Claudia. Claudia, do we have any poshiest friends yet? All right. We're still looking to give away $20 of posh cash to somebody who tags their poshiest friend and has their friend tag back. And um, then you're both going to get $10 of Posh Cash plus some really cool Posh um, lotions and soaps. And so uh, we, we want to give some stuff away. I don't want to have to pack all this stuff back up. So um, please go ahead and join us. Now, um, we are moving down our agenda again. If you're kind of following along with us, we had some tech issues at the beginning of the day. So we're um, behind schedule, but don't worry, we're going to stay here as long as it takes to get everybody a chance to um, chat and to tell us a little bit about their products. And so um, we're going to invite now Marnie Stuzzi to talk a little bit about Keep Collective. Now, Marnie is a teacher here in um, South Sioux. She's actually my daughter's teacher, and um, I don't get bad otherwise, but she's a huge supporter of um, our future teachers. And so 
um, I want to encourage you to go check out her vendor uh, or the um, virtual auction because Marnie donated a beautiful tote. Um, and I'm going to go grab it while Marnie's talking to you a little bit about keep because I, um, if you can't get it at the auction, you should absolutely buy it from Marnie because it's fabulous. And if your husbands are not watching with you, they should get on and watch with you now because I'm going to tell them what to buy you for Christmas. It's such a cool tote. So Marnie, why don't you go ahead and talk a little bit about Keep Collective, a talk about um, Cell and Dot, they're joined together a little bit now and what people can do um, with you. And I'm gonna go grab that. Thanks, Amber, I'm happy to be here. Um, I joined Keep Collective four years ago um, on a whim. I was invited to a party and absolutely fell in love, not only with the product, but with the ability to help people tell their stories. So that's really what Keep Collective means to me. It does give people an opportunity to showcase their story of faith or their story of family or sometimes a battle that they are fighting, a battle that they won. Um, and along this journey of four years, I have met some incredible people with some incredible stories. So speaking of stories, the Husker game is on and I have three very loud Husker fans. So I apologize for any shouting we're losing right now. So it's kind of quiet. So it worked out perfectly. Um, but I'll show you just a couple of ideas that Keep Collective has. Again, it's all personalized. So if you have somebody on your list that is maybe a little bit difficult to buy for, hopefully I can inspire you with some ideas and Keep Collective has a design tool. So all we have to do is figure out their interests, their passion, their story, and then we'll design a perfect piece just for them. But for some sports moms in the groups, you can see that we have sports charms. This happens to be a football, but it can be easily replaced with a basketball or a volleyball or a baseball. The charms just slide on and off. So you can easily replace or um, exchange depending on the story that you want to tell each day. Our bands are leather, so they are reversible, giving you two colors options. We also have um, silicone bands and metal bands, again, just depending on the style. I know in South Sioux, we have the Be Kind. So we have pieces hard to see on the camera, but they are engravable. So you can engrave with slogans or mottos or dates or names. Our leather bands are also engravable. So this happens to be birth dates of grandchildren with their birthstones. This is uh, one of our examples. Bracelets, maybe not your thing. We also have some necklace options with charms that are switch outable. Probably not a word, but I just made it up. So um, initials, family trees, charms with birthstones, those kinds of things. So like I said, the beauty of Keep Collective is really enabling people to tell their story and to help them spark. Thanks, Marnie. And I want to just emphasize that Keep Collective, it's super cool for adults who have a long, a lot of story, but um, don't limit yourself to adults. I first really got introduced to Keep Collective when my 12-year-old daughter um, saw Marnie at the Cardinal Extravaganza and she fell in love with Keep Collective and the idea that she could tell a little bit about who she was through um, her bracelets and bracelets are cool for teenagers too. And um, my daughter, um, on her initial Keep Collective had a basketball because she's super sporty and a cross for her, um, her faith, but she's been adding charms with her grandparents' death dates. And it's been a way for her to just have that memory and that memorial and um, for her to just have a piece of them with them. And um, so I really appreciate that there's a way that they, she can keep, keep her grandparents close to her through Keep Collective. And um, so it's a really precious thing for her. And I would encourage you to think about the people in your life who might have a little bit of a story like that or might need a way to cope or process. Keep Collective has helped my daughter process um, that season of her life. And um, that's way bigger than a business. And so it's really special. And so I uh, um, appreciate Marnie. I appreciate the support that she um, gives my family. And I appreciate 
um, her business. And I appreciate what she does for Cardinal Extravaganza. So Marnie has um, gifted the Cardinal Extravaganza with two things. The first thing that we have from Marnie, and this is a giveaway, this is a freebie, um, is a $10 gift certificate to keep collective so that you can start making your memories jewelry, your memory jewelry with Marnie, start designing um, this. And so we're gonna give this away to the first person in the comments who um, tags a person who they share a really fun memory with. So you're gonna go on and you're gonna say, um, I love my memory of, um, gosh, I'm just trying to think of something fun. Like, um, I have a friend that I've been friends with for a hundred years, it seems like. We were friends the first day of preschool. And I will never forget the memory when she had corned beef hash for the first time and she ordered it at the restaurant without knowing what it was. And then when it came out to the plate, um, she was not impressed with it. And so that's a really fun memory um, that I have with her. So you go ahead and share a memory that you have with your, about your friend. Um, and the first person to tag a friend and tell me what memory they have with that friend is going to get $10 to um, make some memory jewelry with Marnie. Now, I promised you that I was going to show you that tote that you could buy from Marnie as well. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's huge, which is fabulous. And I don't know what this is made of, Marnie, but maybe you do. But it looks like if I spilled on it, it would wipe off really easily. Tell me about that. Absolutely. And I don't know. I could look it up. I don't, not exactly sure what it is, but um, coffee easily wipes up. Use one of those Enviro cloths, right? That kisses. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's um, very easy to take care of and to keep clean. So if something spills on the outside, just wipe it off and it's good to go. It's huge on the inside. There's a billion pockets. It's got a really cool thing that says, don't let them tell you no, a little motivation for your day on um, as you get going. There is side pockets. There is woo, um, a place for your water bottle inside of it. This tote is fabulous. You want to have it. You want to own it. You can own this tote by bidding on the auction item. It's, um, it's there for you. Or you can go and support Marnie, which I would love for you to do as well, and buy this tote. Um, but even though Marnie sells this tote, I know that her passion isn't in totes. Her passion is to um, help you to create a piece of jewelry that tells the story of who you are. It's so English teachy, teacher of her. <laughs> and we love that. But um, she really, really is passionate about helping people just um, get, tell their story, helping people to have those memories. And um, she did that for my family. And so I just cannot encourage you more to go out there and support Marnie. So Marnie, is there anything else you want to add today? No, I think you covered it very well, Amber. I just have one other, I guess, couple other things. Um, one of the nice things about our charms, once you buy the keeper, the band or the necklace, it's really easy to add to it. So what a lot of people do is they purchase the original keeper or band and then every year in their stocking or for their birthday, they add just one simple charm that represents something uh, memorable that happened in that year and then you can add to it. Um, speaking of your daughter's bracelet, I just had somebody order and I wanted to ask permission to share it um, today, but this is a necklace that they designed. And again, I know it's hard for you to see, but this is for a recent death in their family. And so they engraved faith over fear. They added the cross charm, the date of death, and then the angel wing. So this is actually going out in the mail today to someone very special. Um, Keep Collective will deliver directly to you. Um, and then you just can slide on and off the charms, but I anticipate this being a very special gift to somebody very near and dear to the person who purchased it. So again, Amber, thanks for mentioning Keep Collective really is all about me helping people tell their stories and I would love to help anybody. So reach out to me um, with my link or my phone, um, send me an email and I'd be happy to help. Thank you, Marnie. I just love, and you know, I hate to be morbid about this, but um, we're just in a spot where we just need to treasure the people and the stories of our lives so much more maybe than we ever needed to remember before. And um, Keep Collective does that so well. And so I just appreciate you being with us today and 
um, sharing that passion that you have to help people um, connect in that way. So thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I do want to just take one minute and talk about the um, virtual auction we have going on. We are about 30 minutes away from our first um, deadlines on the auction. And sorry, I'm just trying to pull it up here so I can tell you what um, is coming up to close. We have our paparazzi jewelry set, um, which is super cool. It has a ring, a couple pair of earrings, um, and two necklaces that are included in that set. And that the bid was only $10 to get started in that paparazzi. So that's a really, really good deal to add a few um, pieces of jewelry to your collection. Um, we have a really neat Christmas tree. It lights up all different colors. It's super fun. Um, a um, devotional set from Mary and Martha with a little um, cute little pumpkin. I, I have it all spread where I can't touch it. Um, cute little pumpkin decor from Feather and Wire Designs. We have our tea set. For those of you who were on earlier and got kind of excited about all that tea, you're going to want to get that. And um, our treat your teen set. This is the one that my daughter is so excited about the Christmas scrunchies that are in this treat your teen set. And so um, there's some color street um, nail strips, a water bottle sticker, water bottle sticker um, and some scrubs in there. And so all of those auction items end at 1230. So make sure that you get on and get your item um, bids in. And I want to talk to you about one other really, it's like my favorite auction item that we have, um, and probably because I own this, but one of our items that we have are these really cool teacher shoes. And you can see that they have um, scissors and books and um, triangles and pencils all over them. And I own these. I wore these to work yesterday. These are great for um, any teacher in your life who might like to wear these. You can, um, I would just encourage you. They're super comfortable, super appropriate for um, teaching. And I think they're going to make your kids smile if you wear fun shoes. So you might want to check them out. And also there's a $25 gift card in that auction item. So if you, uh, um, whatever you bid, you get to take like $25, it's like $25 off that because you get free money. So check out the... Um, teacher shoes, check out the tote from Keep Collective, and make sure you take a look at those items here that are closing in about the next half an hour um, or so. All right, we're going to keep on keeping on, and it looks like our next vendor to um, speak today is from Tupperware. Mary, welcome to um, our program today. We're excited to have a Tupperware vendor. I just had a student yesterday who was like, whoa, you're selling Tupperware tomorrow? I love Tupperware. And I thought that was a very odd thing for a 16 year old boy to say, yeah. but he loves Tupperware. So I want you to explain to all of us, why Tupperware? Why is he so excited about it? Well, it's been a product around for 70 plus years. And um, it it isn't typically what your grandmother had for Tupperware. Um, we're still famous for our bowls, but we've really branched out since then. Uh, right now we have some toys that are on special. Uh, the Shapo toy has been around forever. I can't imagine, I'm guessing 90% of the homes have played with this toy at one time in their life. Uh, I know the Noah's Ark toy, which I really like, bathtub toy. It's great for in the... Um, playing with Play-Doh, the little animals come apart. Two by two, you can use them for a cookie cutter. Uh, the canoe, the Noah's Ark is out, is not available online, but I do have several um, sets in my inventory. Uh, there's a canoe and a train. I also have in my inventory some of the kids' little snack sets, like the pitcher with the tumblers and the cereal bowls. Okay. Mary, what are the hot kind of items? Oh, you talked a little bit about toys, but what other um, items are like the best selling items for Tupperware, the things that people want to check out? Everybody will want to check out the five piece That's a Bowl set. Um, I have two favorites out of this set. 
This is my go-to if I'm mixing up a cake or muffins. Um, and then uh, this one is my puppy chow, bread bowl, making popcorn balls. And that's the that's a bowl. The whole set is on special for $59. So you're actually getting five bowls in that set. And just this week, they've added a 59 cup bowl. So that's on special too. So check that out online. Nice. And Mary, I have a, um, a young man who's just bringing me over here. Um, the, we were just talking about auction and the item that you donated for our auction is this ginormous red bowl. And it makes me just think about um, all the holidays coming up and how much food we have to make. I'm like, I'm picturing this full of potato salad yep. or, or mashed potatoes or something like that. And it has a nice um, lid. They don't come off. They don't leak. And so, um, and then inside you have a dish towel, I think. Yep. What it's called. And so um, I'm going to plug the auction and then I'm going to let you talk about it. So this item on our auction is plugged with a mini photo session um, donated by Saving Grace Photography. And it's all about celebrating family. We know that Tupperware supports families and is about families eating together, families being together, being able to transport your meals from one place to another place. And so... Uh, we love family. We love thinking about family being together during the holidays and um, uh, when when we can, I guess, with the the wet, uh, health stuff. But um, this is the vendor fair our auction item. So check that out. It's again ginormous, um, and there's a towel that I don't know anything about. So I'll let you talk about that, and then talk about this bowl because I think people are going to want this. Um, we now have our own. Um, towel line, I guess. Everything from eyeglass cleaning towels, um, there's a mop towel, dish towels. They're all um, microfiber. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else we've added. There's a dish scrubbing cloth that I use all the time to scrub my dishes with pots and pans. Um, so that's a whole new line we've just been dabbling in. Uh, the That's a Ball, which is, yeah, one of my favorites. It has a handle on it. So if you're stirring up a big batch of salad or cookies or whatever, it's awesome. You can use your electric mixer in there. It's a 32 cup bowl, but it's not our biggest bowl because we also have a 42 cup and this week we have a 59 cup. So quite some big bowls. So you talked about your eyeglass costs and I have those right here because this is one of our giveaways, two of them. Now, I imagine that these are going to be awesome for cleaning your glasses. What else would you use these for? Uh, you get your smartphone or your tablet all fingerprinted. They work great on cleaning phones and tablet screens as well. I use one every single morning on my eyeglasses. I love it. I love that they're just super small and super convenient and not like not taking up a ton of space or a ton of room. So we're going to give away two Tupperware eyeglass cloths and we're not done talking about Tupperware, but I just keep liking giving stuff away. So we're going to give away um, these Tupperware eyeglass cloths. It's super weird. I wouldn't think of Tupperware as eyeglass cloths, but these are nice. They're really nice. And we're going to give these away to the first person who comments in our comment section, what's your favorite Tupperware piece? What do you already have? What are you um, recommending to other people? What's your favorite piece of Tupperware? And you're gonna get two eyeglass cloths from Tupperware. Now, Mary, can you answer that question for yourself? What's your favorite Tupperware piece? Well, I love our water bottles and I see Andrea does too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but probably my favorite piece is this one. And it is our stack cooker. And I was fortunate enough in the early 90s to go to a convention in Peoria and saw this unveiled. Um, I absolutely love this piece because I brown all my hamburger in the microwave in it. So it's actually two pieces, but the strainer is what I brown in and then all the yuck is in the bottom and I don't have to worry about um, draining the grease off the hamburger. This is also my go-to bowl for all my holiday baking. Um, I do a candy cooking class 
and in the microwave with your almond bark or your chocolate chips, put the cover on a minute and a half and everything is melted. Um, you can make a cake in the microwave. You can make monkey bread in the microwave. That's probably the microwave pieces are now probably my favorites. Besides the stack cooker, we have a micro pearl grill, which you can make grilled cheese, um, grill your steaks, your hamburgers, whatever in your microwave. And as a single person, I use that all the time, two chicken breasts at a time. And in 12 minutes, I have my chicken breast cooked. And we also have our version of an instant pot. And I like that because I can like throw my hamburger and my chili beans and everything in, throw it in the microwave in 25 minutes, I've had a bowl of chili. Now, Andrea, I know you had mentioned that you were um, thinking about some Tupperware stuff. You were talking about maybe um, jumping on and getting some Tupperware maybe today. What is your favorite Tupperware stuff? What do you like? Well, right now we got four kids. So we use every day, every kid uses, I believe they're the one and a half cup microwave dishes, but I don't even know if they're made anymore, but I need bigger ones because my 14 year old kind of has outgrown very quickly yep. this little tiny lunch portion. So I thought I'm going to jump on. I know they have some bigger ones. Yes. There's a, there's a set on sale right now, our vent and serves. So you yes, might have for that. Um, I'm frequently that's in my lunchbox as well. I'm also a teacher. So that, um, two and a half cup container is the one that I use the most often. Okay. Um, um, if there's something that you're looking for in Tupperware and you can't find message me, I have an inventory, like you can't believe I've been selling Tupperware for 34 years. So I have some very unique pieces that sometimes um, nobody else has. And I'm in Sioux City every day, so I can certainly meet up with people to deliver Tupperware products too. Awesome. Um, thank you, uh, Mary, for being here. Thank you for being a supporter of the Cardinal Extravaganza. I love hearing all of these teachers who come on and support future educators. There, That is like the most fun thing. I really like, um, like Andrea here as a teacher in South Sioux, I like that we can support um, our staff members kind of side gigs that they're doing, but it's even more exciting when we see other teachers from the community um, and surrounding communities come across, come alongside of us and help to grow our profession and to support our profession because um, gosh, we know how valuable um, we are, we, we love ourselves, I guess, as teachers, and we love to, we love to love on other teachers, we love to love on ourselves, and we love to love on kids who want to become teachers, and so um, we're just so grateful that you um, have joined us today, and that you're a part of this. Now, before um, I move over on to Andrea, can you talk to our customers about where should they go if they're interested in um, getting a hold of you to talk to you about ordering Tupperware? Um, I do have a website. It's maryhunt.my.tupperware.com. Um, I also have a Facebook page called Mary's Meal Prepping. I do a service where um, I get 10 gals together and we meal prep five meals. So um, that's kind of a fun thing that I've started in the last year. Uh, but you can reach out to me too. That's Mary's Meal Prepping on my Facebook page. Perfect. And uh, um, Mary, you posted a picture on the um, Buy It Now of a whole bunch of items that you have on hand. And so as people are thinking about Thanksgiving coming, you know, just in a couple of weeks and thinking about what their meal plans might look like, um, they would be really good idea for them to just go to that page and see what you have and pick up some new um, dishes to transport those um, meals in. So uh, I wanted to give a shout out to that and let them know you have a lot of items in stock and that you can um, get them to them very, very quickly. Not a problem. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, ask Andrea to share a little bit about her quilting business, which um, is, uh, you do such beautiful work. So Andrea's he teacher here in South Sioux, and again, one of the greatest supporters of um, our organization of the Cardinal Extravaganza. You've been here all three years, right? I am not, this is just my second year. Second so, year. 
when so. you had said three years, I'm like, how did I miss that first year? But um, I think it was just not on my radar. And I just had so many people ask me about quilting and embroidery and making things. And what do I have available? So I thought, oh my, I better get something going on the website because I got really tired of going to my basement and taking pictures of everything that I had that they would might want to buy and what was available. And so at least the things on my website uh, that our picture can be purchased now, but a lot of my business is really just the special ordering and really making memories for people. Yes, and I've had the opportunity to see your work and it's so well done. Now, first, I can't even believe that there are people that know how to sew um, because again, that is not in my wheelhouse and then that people enjoy that. So I'm so grateful that there's people that are like you because um, yeah, because I, I don't understand it. And I love that there are people that, um, that do. Now, one of the things that you make that I think people are going to be super interested to hear about are your t-shirt quilts. Yeah. Those are so popular um, among young people. We've been talking about teenagers all day long, but just gathering those memories, kind of like you, Marnie, building memories for people um, and putting together these t-shirt quilts. And it's hard to find somebody to make them for you and then to make them at such a great quality that you I mean your, your products are so well done. So can you talk to us a little bit about your t-shirt quilts? Yeah, definitely. Really, the concept of the t-shirt quilt is like you said, it's really making somebody's memory last forever and not just be folded in a drawer. And so that really is at the forefront of my mind when I'm looking at a t-shirt quilt, helping people work through design and color. Uh, and of course, you think, gosh, how do I have any t-shirt quilts to even show? Because I make them and they go right out the door. But I had so many t-shirts of my own. I thought, well, I'll make up some samples. So I've got a couple samples here. Uh, this one is just like a free flow pattern that people could choose from. Obviously, I work in South Sioux City because these are all of my t-shirts. Uh, just lots of other designs and options that people can choose from as far as you know what they want for their design. I'm working on one now that will actually look like uh, windows. So it'll it's just going to be a very special memory for the family. Uh, it's for a, a my wife and mom who passed away. And so it just, the meaning behind it, I think is what's really special for me. And each quilt that goes out has some deep meaning for the person that it's going to, whether it's for um, this lady's husband or her children. And for me, that's really the blessing in having this business that I never anticipated. I really just bought an embroidery machine because I wanted to embroidery and I've had more business making t-shirt quilts in the last year than I have embroidery. So, uh, but at least it's paying for the machine that's sitting there. Uh, but I just, I love it. I love every minute of it. And although I do make a little bit of money, really my main goal is to give people that memory of their loved one. Um, you talked a little bit about how all of your work really is pretty much custom order. Um, and so you're working to put together um, the idea, the design, you're like an artist, it sounds like. And um, so if people are thinking about wanting to order something, how much time does it typically take? Like how much leeway do they need to give you or head time do they need to give you so that they're able to, um, you're able to get it done? That's such a great question, especially as business is picking up and for the holidays. And right now I'm about six weeks out. So I'm pushing it very, very close to Christmas. I work with a professional quilter that does my quilts, my quilting for me. And so I'm constantly in contact with her. Uh, you know, as for Christmas, we're pushing it close, but we would definitely start thinking about other birthdays and holidays and get me your t-shirts at least eight weeks out from your event to make sure that we have time to, to really work together and make sure that your memory is going to be exactly what you want it to be for that loved one or for yourself. So I'm just thinking that um, graduation is probably, we have a lot of parents who can start thinking about that their kids are graduating and maybe that this is an idea that they want to um, gift their students on graduation. Maybe Lance wants to jump in here because I believe that he um, did that for his daughter when she graduated. Maybe he doesn't even remember, um, but um, <laughs> that um, they had a t-shirt quilt made. And so 
what a neat way to um, remember high school. And so would you recommend um, that people are getting a hold of you now? Well, first let's ask Lance. Lance, what did Sophie think of that um, gift? Sophie, Lance's daughter, by the way, is one of our vendors today. She's not jumping in, but this um, gift we're talking about was for Sophie. How did she, um, what'd you think of that quilt? Oh uh, yeah, she really likes it. She uses it uh, currently all the time, I believe. And um, uh, it was really a nice uh, piece and a nice gift that I'll keep giving and she'll have a nice memory. And, you know, unlike the shirts that kind of end up just in the bottom of the drawer or the different things, it's definitely a keepsake as well as something useful. And kind of one of those things, the more uh, she uses it, the more comfortable it gets yeah. and the more it becomes um, kind of a part of her. Would you recommend, Lance, that people consider that as a graduation gift? Do you think it's a good one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, there's so many things that I can think of that um, just wear out or get old or used up, and this gets better the more you use it. So <laughs> I, I think it's probably That's one true. of the better things you could do. So we've been talking all about your t-shirt quilts, but what else do you make besides t-shirt quilts? Oh, well, I'm, I'm a custom business, so I have people come to me for all sorts of things, but one thing that's been super popular have been the vintage embroidered dish towels, and so uh, these are just some I have on hand right now that I wanted to show, but you can jump online. I have just lots of options. If you don't see something you want there, you can always give me a call or email me and find out if there's a pattern available for what you want. I know a big thing is gnomes right now. I've got uh, several Christmas gnome patterns on there. Uh, owls are on there. Lots of, of the popular uh, prints and things that are out right now. I know flamingos are kind of fun. I got a fun print on there for flamingos. So definitely, if you got something, you don't, just don't know what to get for this person because they've got everything. A dish towel is something you can always use. And definitely, I've had lots of customers do the dish towels Along with that, and I gave it as part of my giveaway, are these um, pot holders, which sounds like, oh, wow, just a dumb little pot holder. But I had a customer ask me to make these for her. Uh, she got one at another craft fair, and I made one, and I probably sold about 50 of them after that. Uh, they're amazing. They are heat resistant. So you, these are the size of a 9 by 13 pan. And then that same customer asked me to customize one that would do cookie sheets. So now I have some available that would fit your cookie sheet so that you're not stacking six pot holders together when you take your cookie sheet out of the oven. So uh, I liked them so well. I made some for myself for Christmas and for um, the fall. So again, even though this might not be the right pattern for you, you might say, well, I want one, but I want it to be Christmas or I want it to be Valentine's Day. You just tell me what you want and I will work with you. Uh, I'd like to say I don't have a fabric store at my house, but I do. Uh, I have got lots of fabric. And, uh, and now that I have my own business, I can buy it by the bolt. So that's pretty dangerous. Uh, again, you call me and I work with you to find out what you want. Awesome. And I was going to comment on those um, <laughs> casserole pot holders. I wasn't sure what they were at first. I said, I don't know what this is. And then when you told me, I was so excited about it because absolutely you have like this little tiny trivet on your table and then you try to put the big lasagna on it and it's like all wobbly and stuff. And so what a great idea. Holy moly, whoever thought of that. And um, I think everybody needs to have one of those casserole <laughs> yeah. holders. And once they have one, they're probably never going to go back and you don't have to have, you know, I'm usually putting two trivets and trying to like um, fit it all there. And so, um, yes, everybody should order one of those. Now, do you have any of those on hand or are those special order? Um, I do have some on hand, but they would not be for the holidays, but those are special order and they don't take that long. So Perfect. those are easy to get out by Christmas. Andrea, can you tell me, um, uh, as we kind of are wrapping up here, tell me, um, how should people contact you if they want to place an order? 
Great. You can just uh, jump online to my uh, webpage, myquiltedhome.com, and it gives you all the contact information. You can uh, contact me through Facebook at My Quilted Home. You can also contact me by cell phone or email. Uh, at my quilted home or at my quilted home at gmail.com so I've kept it really easy for you and uh, I'll get back to you and we'll work through whatever your order is perfect that's awesome thank you so much Andrea for being thank here you. thank you for supporting um educators rising and national honor society and all of those things now um, we want to take a minute and I need to check in with Lance and see where we're at at this um, Lance, are we ready with the National Honor Society? Or do we want to wait on that? Well, maybe we just visit about it a little bit. We've been able to kind of recover for the most part, and we've been putting on a pretty good stream. It's probably not the best. It's not what we were hoping for, but it's working. And so I think I've got some things fixed. I am simultaneously streaming out to YouTube, which has probably given people a little bit better experience than the Facebook, but I know the Facebook one is a little more convenient. So we're kind of out on both right now. So it's kind of, maybe it's a better deal, I don't know. But the bummer is, is that it's gonna be hard for me to play a video uh, today. Perfect. Um, so can we just visit about it or um, I can maybe post the links on the thing and someone can, they can watch it on their own time. I don't want to cut our kids' stuff short. That's the worst thing I want to do because that's what this is all about. But I also, it's, everything's working right now. I don't want to mess it up. Perfect. Let's, um, we'll just go ahead and we'll hold off then on that. And I'll reach out to um, Carrie and we have some NHS students in the building. So maybe they can um, jump on and zoom and we can spend a couple minutes talking to them in a little bit. But I know we're a little bit behind schedule. We have some vendors here who are ready to talk about their products. And so we'll just go ahead and move on and um, talk about those products with them. Thanks for your patience. No problem. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and move right into our next vendor. And um, this is, before we do that, I do have to remind everybody that the first set of auction items ends at 12.30, that's in seven minutes. So if you were looking at those first um, four or five items, let me look real quick, I can tell you what they were. Um, the paparazzi jewelry, somebody's gotta get on. I don't know that there's any bids yet. So if you are a jewelry lover at all, you might wanna check out the paparazzi jewelry. You're gonna get some good pieces for not a lot of money. Um, we have the sparkling Christmas tree. Um, lights up three different colors going to add a lot of pizzazz to your holiday decor um the love overall devotional and the little note card set the tea set from sipology she was here this morning as all dreaming about some of that tea and that treat your teen set um those end now in six minutes and so go ahead get your final bids in for those our students are monitoring them and we'll um start having some auction winners um announced pretty soon so while we're waiting for our auction winners, we're going to go ahead and move on over to talk with, where am I at? I am at um, Heart of Nebraska. Heart of Nebraska. Dana. Hi. So tell us a little bit, um, Dana, we've been talking about story and what's your story? How did you get to where you're doing and how does that connect to what your products are? Well, I first started making soaps, um, A, because my kids were going through so many of the store-bought soaps, and I don't even know why, because it's not like they were very clean children, but we were going through a ton of store-bought uh, soaps, and I started looking at the ingredients, and I realized that um, there's just a lot of really harsh chemicals as I was doing some um, just research on the different ingredients that were used, and I just thought, you know, I, I've got to be able to do something different. So I started researching. Um, I started making just soaps for my own family. Um, I started giving them out as gifts to friends and to family. And pretty soon, um, you know, people were asking me for certain soaps. And so my brother and I just decided, well, let's, let's try this. Let's do business. So that was about three years ago. And um, so we had just been really researching different kinds of products for your skin. Um, recently, we just started getting into um, the Send It shampoo bars. Um, so we're really trying to encompass everything you would use on your body. That's going to be a lot healthier and a lot cleaner to use for your body. So I was on your website the other day 
And I've been saying that a lot today. <laughs> I was checking out things the other day <laughs> and I noticed that um, you had a lot of things that you're running, you were running lower on. And it said these items can be back ordered. So we've been talking about preparing for the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, what's the timeline if if somebody goes to your website, they see that they want like the birthday cake soap and um, they're um, excited about getting that. What's kind of the timeline? Would they be able to get that in um, time for the holidays? Yes. So um, the, a lot of the items that are um, low right now, um, I've either been making over the last week or um, I, that's what I'm going to do this weekend, actually, is just kind of we had a storefront that just opened here in Lincoln. And so a lot of my product ended up going there. Um, and so I could also get product from the storefront. Um, but, you know, lotions, sugar scrubs, um, those are ready in about about 30 hours after I make them. So it's a pretty quick turnabout. Um, with these soaps, um, the minimum wait time is four weeks. So if there is a soap that somebody specifically is wanting, that it does, and maybe they're, they're wanting more than what I have on stock, um, if they let me know just as soon as possible, then they, you know, we can rush shipment, we can do a lot of things, but um, after about four weeks, then we can send out the soaps. Okay, so people order today, they should be able to get it no problem in time right. for holidays. Okay. I love that. Right. Here, a lot of your soaps are like four to six dollars. So they're just super convenient for mm -hmm. a um uh, a stocking stuffer or to be part mm -hmm. of a gift basket. So I was thinking I have a lot of family who are not from Nebraska, and I, I noticed that you celebrate Nebraska a lot on your website. And so I was thinking about um the little bars of soap that have the heart in it and how you mm -hmm. can send your the heart from Nebraska to all of your family and friends who right. just live here and they don't have the privilege. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Nebraska. So what are some of the other things that you sell besides the soaps? Well, um, I also have the heart of Nebraska bath bombs, which is the same thing. They have that little heart in there. Um, but I've also been getting into some different um, bath bombs. The one that's brand new, I have it right here. I just did a key lime pie one. Um, so that's kind of fun. This is six ounces of a bath bomb. Um, and I had a, um, I have a, a chocolate, uh, a Turkish mocha one that's just coming out, but it's drying, so I don't have it to show you. Um, but there's a lot of different kinds of soaps. We have, this one's called Gone Fishing. So it's got like a little soap fish on it. Um, I have um, soaps for people who maybe have a sensitivity. Um, this is a hint of lavender and it's just a very, very light cleansing soap. It's very, very light. Um, we've got lotions. This is one of the things that I'm doing this weekend because I am completely out of lotions. Um, now is the time everybody's hands are dry. So <laughs> we're going through a lot of lotion. This one's a eucalyptus lavender, um, but I have about four different kinds of lotions that I'm making today. So, um, and if somebody is really wanting to have a specific scent, um, that's really easy to accommodate. So they can just send me a message either email me on my webpage or they can even find me on Facebook and um, instant message me there. We also have um, new, and this is our flash sale this weekend that's going to go up um, as soon as I'm done here, but we have this set um, that has a crocheted washcloth, a little dish, um, a soap dish, and then a little Nebraska soap. This one is Desert Rose, so it's kind of like a fruity um, scent. But then I also have this one that's a little bit more tropical based. Um, and so that's going to be a set that you can buy together. And it's on sale just this weekend, today and tomorrow for $5. Mm -hmm. And then we also have bath salts and sugar salt, uh, sugar scrubs. I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? No, no, I was interrupting you. No, I want you to um, tell me there's a soap on your website that I know people are going to want. Um, we're going to call it the ice cream emoji soap but you can call it whatever you want to call it but i immediately thought of my brother when i saw that soap um tell people about that one and if that's um available um so the ice cream emoji soap or the I remember soap. which one you saw oh <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I do have a lot. I was like, ice cream, what? <laughs> um, I do have a line of kids' soaps, um, and that one is a fun one for kids. It is. It looks like a number two soap, and that's what we call it as a number two soap, so it can be a little bit more PC. Um, but it is uh, chocolate scented, 
So, I mean, kind of gross, but kind of fun. And the kids really like it. My kids, I mean, my youngest, that's what he uses um, a lot is that he, use, he makes his own kind of melt and pour soap in that same mold. So he loves that particular one, but that one's a lot of fun. And that can come in some different scents. We just chose chocolate because that's what the kids like, seem to like the most and it matches. If you think <laughs> um, we also have a brand new kid soap that just went on the webpage today. Um, and this is my creepy crawly soap. Um, and so inside each one of these soaps is um, a creepy colored ring. So there's a spider or there's a bat. And the more they clean, the more they wash, obviously the more of it's gonna be exposed and then pretty soon they're gonna be able to pull it out there. So that's another kid soap. We also have a birthday cake soap, which I will just have right with me. Um, and it's more lightly scented, but it does smell like birthday cake soap. Um, and then, um, and then I do have also a line of these camo soaps, which like there's the Desert Rose one. Um, this is, we call it the Casey soap because it's after my brother. Um, this is his favorite one. This is more for males. Um, it's more of a musky kind of outdoorsy scent. And then our American Hero, which was the first camel soap. And that's the one that I am making this weekend as well. So that will be available in four weeks. And that one is very, it's kind of a pine scented one. And so that's really, it, it's been popular. I sold completely out of it. So love it. Awesome. So tell us one more time, if people are interested in um, getting some of the soap and it's super fun, super cute, super inexpensive um, soaps. Um, how can they get connected to you? Well, I do have a webpage. It's hardinnebraskasoaps.com. Um, you can email me at hardinnebraskasoaps at gmail.com. Um, or you can even find us on Facebook, Hard in Nebraska Soaps, and you can send me an instant message. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dana, for being with us today. We appreciate it. Please join in and um, stick with us and um, hear more about the vendors or go off and start making that lotion so that you can fill up the orders that are coming in. And we encourage everybody to check out Heart of Nebraska Soaps. You can get there by um, going to Heart of Nebraska Soaps and or you can go to the Cardinal Extravaganza webpage and we'll have a link that'll take you straight there as well. All right, thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep going on and we're gonna talk to um, Paula. Paula, you're here for Sensi and Paula is a um, another South Sioux a mom, she's been an extravaganza vendor from the very beginning and super supportive of um, South Sioux City and all of the events that are going on here. So we love to give you a little bit of FaceTime today to talk a little bit about the Sensi business. Hi, Amber. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. It's a little bit different um, doing this vendor fair this way, but Amber has done a great job as have the uh, other staff at Cardinal. So thank you everybody at South Sioux for doing what you did to get this study in life for us today. Um, I've been with Sensi for 11 years and probably one of my favorite things about Sensi is definitely the people that I have met along the way. So unfortunately, not being able to do a vendor fair really eliminates my um, ability to talk to you guys face to face like we get to do every year. So what I'd like to do today is just market and feature a couple of the products that we have here at Sensi that you might have seen on my table setting when you walked through the school. Um, and I'll do the best I can to show you online what we have and give you some gift ideas um, like I would if we were in person. So first of all, um, like I featured on our uh, commercial that we did the other day, one of the newest products that we have, and it has really been one of the best selling products, is our mini fan diffuser. So these go and work with our pods just like our Sensi Goes have, and you've been using the Goes for a while now, and they just like our wall fan diffusers. So this is another opportunity to use our pods. As you can see, we're making them smaller and more travel efficient, right? I use this in my car every day. I plug it into my um, car phone adapter and I. this is how I scent my car. Um, everybody else uses it on their laptop or in their office. But the good thing about this is I can take it anywhere with me. So as long as I have this cord, and I have my pod, I am able to scent the area that I'm in. Now, in my little office here, when I was doing the commercial, this thing made my entire office smell great. These mini fans are $15. Now they come in three different colors, blush, mint, 
and gray. And all three colors are super subtle. So what I have here is blush. I can hardly tell, but it does give me a little bit of pop of color. So if you're not looking for something super annoying color that might be offensive to the spot where you're trying to decorate, this is gonna be perfect. They come, they are used with our pods actually. So you can get a twin set of pods to go in that mini fan for $10. Pods come in many different scents, and all of these are available at my website, which is winty.sensi.us. And the pods, when you get two of them, in the mini fan, only one fits in it. But in the wall or the go, you can actually put both of them in there. So both would fit in there if you wanted to. One or two are usable at any time, okay? I think that a mini fan and the set of pods is a great gift option for any teacher, for any babysitter, anywhere where you're looking to maybe freshen up a little space. I, a, a coworker, a $25 gift right there. I love the mini fans. Um, another product that we could be featuring, and I really like these little things, and you'll see these on my Google Doc form. These are something that we can make up very easily, make them be personal to the person you're giving them to. This is the great $11 gift, right? So we throw it in an organza bag, we put in some shred in it, and they're getting a room spray and a scent circle. Now $11 each, but let's say you had six people to buy for, I've got a price point breakdown at six. So if this is something you're interested in, please text or email or call me, and we can get these set up and hand it out in time for Christmas. These work for anybody. Wait a minute, um, Paula, because you talked about that. I was hoping you would bring that up. Um, the the um, little pack that you're showing right now, if they go to the Cardinal Extravaganza and they hit your page at the Cardinal Extravaganza, you have an order form or a Google form right there that they can use to order those. Um, Absolutely. Right the site. Yep, they can order these right on the Google Form site, um, and you can and you can tell me what scent family family you want. So maybe you know that you're going to be purchasing these for um, men in your life. So you might say you want them clean. You might say you want it smelling manly. Maybe you know you're purchasing these for teachers, and you want to do all bakery smells. Um, I have the option to make this be personal for you. So if you fill out that Google form, comes directly to me, and then I'll be in touch with you on how we're going to get it paid and how I'm going to meet up with you to deliver this. Again, $11 for one, but if you want to purchase six of them, we've got a price point for you. Awesome. And what's that price point again? When you buy five, you get one free, like almost every Sensi product. So really, you're going to get six products for um, you're going to get bags and you're basically going to get a whole one free. Love it. it yeah. We kind of, we cut out a little bit when you said it last time. So I wanted to make sure that we got that mentioned. Excellent. Thanks, Amber. Another great um, gift that you could individualize is a hand soap and a hand cream. So again, just keeping in mind that Sensi really has something for everybody and we're able to make these personal for everyone you're handing out to. Um, with a little bag, a little gift bag, organza bag, and some shred that we're throwing in it. A lot of the products I'm featuring today are available online, um, but if you text me or call me, I might be able to help you out a little bit quicker. So please reach out to me. Just like we all have inventory when we're setting at a vendor fair, um, we're not able to show you everything that we have, but maybe we are able to help you quicker than an online purchase. So that Google form that you're going to find on my page under the um, extravaganza link is really going to work out great for us. Now talk a little bit about your bar deal. And this is also on your Google form, the six bars. Yeah. Yep. So just like the buy five, get one free of almost everything we have, the bars come the same way. So you're buying five, you get one free. I have a great, um, a great link online where you can just tell me if you are team fall or team winter, um, team holiday or team fall. So if you let me know which team you prefer, I'll build the six pack for you. Um, takes out a lot of the guessing work. I know that sometimes 80 cents is a little bit, uh, 80 options to smell is a little bit overwhelming. So if you just let me know that you uh, prefer pumpkin or that you prefer maybe cinnamon for Christmas, it's a great option for uh, you to eliminate the guessing work of all the scents. Team fall, team holiday, right there on the Google Docs. 
Okay. So I love that because I can never make a decision and I'm sitting there and I'm smelling everything. And pretty soon my whole smeller doesn't work anymore because I've smelled everything thousands of times. And so I love that you're an expert in this area. I'm like a big believer in let people be experts where they're experts and everybody is good at something. And so we just celebrate what people are good at. And so I know Paula, you have been, um, doing Sensi for a long time and you know how to um, listen to a person, hear what they need, hear what they want and make it happen for them. And so um, I love that I don't have to make a decision. I can just say, hey, I like I like apples. And you can be like, I know exactly what it is that um, you need. Or I really like vanilla. And you can put together ideas um, of all of the scents. You're you're knowledgeable about that part of the product. So I really like that. That's one of the options. And again, that's available in the um, Google form. They'll just find on your, uh, the virtual table. That's what we called it. The virtual table on your um, Cardinal Extravaganza page allows people to go in and just say, hey, Paula, will you go ahead and give me three of these? And I want to use winter. You can come out and grab it when you're ready. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Paula, for um, jumping in, for taking this chance. And I'm gonna encourage you all to go on over to Paula's webpage and um, take a look at those great gift baskets. She has the little Scentsy Circles and the sprays. I love the room sprays, love, love, love them. Last year for Christmas, I gave everybody, like everybody, little scent circles. And so I was passing them out like candy and people were kind of surprised. They were like, oh yeah, this is a great gift. And so um, do that give everybody wants to smell good and wants things to smell good. And those are very convenient. They can be slipped everywhere and a really inexpensive way to spread a little bit of holiday happiness. So, um, yeah. Anything else for me, Paula? I think we might be, uh, disconnecting here a little bit. All right. I'm going to take a pause here for just a minute and we're going to jump on with Autumn. Um, Autumn, are you there still? Yeah. So one of the things that we really wanted to do during the course of the Cardinal Extravaganza was to highlight different things that are happening here at the high school. We wanted to give our kids a chance to get in front of you and to um, talk about what they're doing because even though it feels like the world is shut down, we're still in high school and we're still living high school here. And we have awesome kids um, that are students in South Sioux and who are engaging and participating in their activities in the best way that they know how to participate. And so, um, oh, I think, oh, there she is. Um, and so we had a video of the flag um, core, no, color guard, the color guard doing a routine and with our tech issues today, we can't just throw that up. But Autumn wants to talk to you about today, or we're going to have Autumn talk to you a little bit about um, Color Guard. Autumn, how long have you been in Color Guard? Um, so we have a middle school program, actually, where you can do the homecoming parade, which we actually didn't get to do this year because of COVID, um, for seventh and eighth graders. So I've been doing that since seventh grade, but for varsity, I've been doing it since a freshman. Okay. So... If people out there don't really know what Color Guard is, explain to them what that is. So it is a part of band. You do have to be in band to do it. Um, but any instrument can join Color Guard during the marching season. And what it is, is the use of flags to, it's kind of like dance. We make a routine and we flag to it. It can be pretty difficult but it is very fun no matter what. We try to integrate everyone no matter their level of skill so that even if you're a senior and you want to join and have fun, you can and we will make it so that you will be able to do the routine with us without it being difficult. Okay. And we do have different flags. We have different size poles. I'm pretty small, I'm 4'11", and we have like a six foot pole. Um, <laughs> So there are different sizes. There are different designs to the flags. Some are very pretty. Some are very, um, we have ba ballet songs. So they're very designed and detailed um, and stuff like that. For the flags, we did do 
a new thing that I won't talk very much about because it's a surprise, but it's very cool. And it's new even to me and I'm a junior and we have never done it before on flags. So that was very fun to practice and experience with. So talk to me, I know that you guys didn't get to really perform that much because of COVID. How is um, Color Guard right now um, dealing with COVID, still being able to participate in Color Guard and um, do those types of things, even though um, there's some restrictions in place? What, um, how are you guys dealing with that? So we did still have band camp this year. It was very restricted. We have PP, which is the special mask to play our instruments. Um, we normally, it didn't matter which flag you grabbed. You know, you just kind of grabbed and go. But we did have flags with our names on it. They were checked out so that no one else touched or used our flag. We still had practice Monday through Thursday in the morning. Everyone had to. Um, wear masks and stay six feet apart, which is kind of easy since we don't want to hit each other with the flags anyways. And it was, it was still pretty normal and it was fun and experiencing things. Even though we didn't get to perform as much and do parades, I was still very happy with the time to perform that we did get. Awesome. So if somebody is thinking about being in color guard, they're not sure, maybe um, they don't know exactly what it is or they don't know if they should do it. Uh, what would you say to somebody who's thinking about it? I'm very, I'm an introvert myself. I tend to stay to myself. I'm very awkward when talking to people actually. And so I would say, at least come look at it. You don't have to try it. So in order to get on, you do have to try out. But if, you, if you're not sure, you can obviously come to games. Um, come watch us during band if you're in band because you do have to be in band to participate. So it's very easy to watch us even if you're just playing your instrument um, since we practice with the band as well to kind of experience and know what we're doing. And I would just say kind of go for it, which I did and I love flags and I'm still planning on doing it next year, so. Are you just a junior this year, Autumn? Yes. Perfect. You know, I hear so many students who do color guard or flags and it becomes the highlight of their high school career. We were talking earlier about Ed Rising creating a family, but color card really does that too. Um, they have, you guys have kind of your own little family. Would you say yeah. that that's true? It's very short, but it's very sweet is what I would say, because obviously we have concert band season and we have marching band season. But marching band season is kind of our spotlight. August, September, October, and more towards the end of the year, May, is our time to shine. So we love to use that and get together and kind of steal the spot from the band for a little bit, because <laughs> we, want, we want it to be known that we're there too. Well, I love watching you guys. You're so talented and so committed. Um, I've been in the building when you guys are here bright and early in the morning practicing um, and practicing a lot, not knowing whether or not you would even get to perform. And you were still here every day practicing in hopes that there would be a chance to perform. And so what a dedicated group of young ladies you are. And um, I really just wanna thank you, Autumn, so much for joining us today and talking to the community here, letting them know about Color Guard. So thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Thanks. All right, we need to do another giveaway and then we're going to uh, move right on in to um, our next vendor. And so we wanna give away, this is something that, it's a vendor who can't be with us today. And um, the vendor is Pink Zebra. If you've ever heard of Pink Zebra, um, you're gonna wanna check out their site. What I have here is called a wall hug, which is a diffuser for portable fragrances. And also in this box is a um, home fragrance. They call them soaks and it smells delicious. I, I cannot tell you how good this smells right now. It has been smelling up my office for a couple of weeks now. And I, I literally just want to put it in my purse and take it home. It smells awesome. This is one of the, um, the coolest giveaways that we have um, today. 
And so we're gonna go ahead and give this to um, the first person who, yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think of something. Let's give this to the first person who comments um, their favorite thing about South Sioux City. What do you love about South Sioux City? What do you love about being a part of this community? I love South Sioux City. I've lived here now for about 11 years. I love everything about this community. Um, I love my school district. I love that my kids grew up here. There's so many wonderful things about South Sioux. And so uh, go ahead and go to the comments on Facebook. Tell us what you love about this community. And we're gonna treat you with this super great pink zebra wall hugger and home fragrance. So go ahead, give us a comment. What do you love about South Sioux City? Now, we're gonna take some time now and talk about dot, dot smiles. We're talking about all of the things that we love, love, and who doesn't love a little girl in a twirly dress? And so as the mom of daughters, we're not quite little anymore, but we definitely went through the twirly dress stage of life. And so I have Jill, who is a vendor here for Dot Dot Smile, and she's gonna talk to us about the twirly dress. Hi, everybody. Thank you for having me. Um, Dot Dot Smile is a children's clothing company. Um, they are actually founded on the principle of gratitude. Um, this company, I fell in love with it. Not only are the products durable and amazing in my girls, they just love them so much, but they give back and they're always giving back to different organizations. And I mean, we're talking about lots of money that they do in all different ways to raise money. And I, that's a really cool combo for me. So, um, but yeah, dot, dot smile. It is um, here. I have a picture of my daughter twirling in my oldest. It's, there's a glare, but they're big twirly dresses, full circle. And um, this is my first experience with a direct sales company and it's amazing. And I fell in love with it because my oldest daughter, she put on her first dress, she twirled and her eyes, they sparkled and her smile got so big. And so we fell in love with it. And it's a children's clothing company that they also have boys and girls. Um, we offer two ways to shop. You can do it online through the website, or I also have uh, a whole bunch of stuff in my house too. It's kind of taken over my dining room. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we have lots of items. We actually just got our, um, our holiday dresses in and look at how cute these are. I don't know if you can see them, but there's like, there's foiling that says Merry Christmas. And so this one's this really small one. And we've got, and this one is all the holly, the holly berries, but there's different styles of dresses, but they all have that full twirl and they do a lot of everything. We've got sweaters and they have pockets. That is the best part that they have pockets. I get excited about that, but um, yeah, there's all different styles and patterns. I like this one with the school bus right here. But yep, little girls um, is what we mostly have in our in-home shop. And they're sized anywhere from six to 12 months all the way up to size 12 to 14. But leggings, jeans, fashion tops, dresses, it's really fun. There's a lot of different things and different styles and patterns to choose from. Awesome. I love this. I'm going to come back to you in just a minute, Jill, but I have to give a shout out. The next set of virtual auction items is ending very, very soon. So if you are looking at that Cardinal hoodie pack, the Holly Jolly Christmas set, Pampered Chef, Tastefully Simple Scentsy Basket, get your final auction bids in now because we're getting ready to end that. Now, we're going to come back and talk about these dresses again because they are so cute. And certainly every little girl needs a twirly dress. Um, can you tell us a story about how that dress makes your daughter feel? When she puts the dress on, when girls put twirly dresses on, like something comes over them, it's magical. So talk a little bit about your experiences of, with that in your own child. 
You got it. So the company is, they're known for its dot dot smile where we create smiles and build confidence. And it's something you don't even experience until your own, your own child puts one on or you see someone put one of these dresses on. It doesn't have to be the first time or the second, but I, my oldest, when she put on her first dress, and she twirled her eyes sparkled and she smiled so big and she just goes mommy I feel so pretty and mommy this is so fun and oh my gosh she just she feels so good when she puts it on and I can just tell I don't get emotional it's just it's amazing how much it can just completely change how how they feel about themselves and um the different patterns and styles is fun because you know as a mom I'm like okay well yeah I, I like this one best but you know, what, what one captures their personality and what do they love? And that just makes it really fun. Well, you're so right about that, that there's just something beautiful. Um, you know, raising girls is tough and getting, um, something that helps your little girl feel beautiful or your granddaughter feel beautiful, your niece feel beautiful and starting them at that very young age of just like embracing themselves and feeling beautiful is so important. And Dot Dot Smile really um, believes in that. Is And that's true, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I want to help make somebody's um, dream of sharing that beauty come true. And when I say I, I totally mean you, not me. I just get to be like, <laughs> the um, giver, but there is a $15 gift certificate for you to be able to shop dot dot smile and help some little girl feel absolutely amazing this season. Tons and tons of designs on your website and not just for little girls, there's boys um, pants and shirts and stuff too. We just love the twirly dress. So we talk about that a lot. <laughs> um, but um, $15 is going to go a long way in getting one of those dresses. But when we talk about what those dresses do and the magic of seeing those little princesses twirling around their living rooms because the skirts are flying out, man, that, <laughs> that's, that's a special thing. So I'm going to give this $15 gift certificate so that you can shop with Jill. And we're going to give this to the first person who comments the name um, or relationship of the little princess that they want to give this dress to. Does that seem fair? You like that, Joe? Yes. Yes. So who do you have in your mind that you would love to be spinning around the holiday season and feeling fabulous? Um, tell me what sizes it is again, Joe. Dot Dot Smile offers sizes from six to 12 months on up to size 12 to 14. And um, on the website, you, that's where you can find um, boys and girls items from joggers to jeans um, to hoodie sweatshirts. Um, but in my in-home shop, we, most, we have three little girls. So we, our inventory is pretty much just the, the twirly dresses. Perfect. So you're going to go ahead. If you're interested in one of these twirly dresses or any of other um, stuff on Jill's um, um, collection, you're going to comment in Facebook about the name or the relationship of the person that you want to buy a dress for. And then we'll get you this $15 gift card um, and get you connected with Jill so that you can get that dress. All right. Jill, anything else you can tell us about your um, inventory, your dresses, the, um, how people can get a hold of you if they're interested in buying? Yes, I do most of my um, my sales and my shopping experience um, through my Facebook VIP group and on your website um, that you have with um, for this event um, where you can send a message um, that will take you right to my Facebook page. Um, that's where I keep all of my um, my in home inventory at and um, so you can shop there. And these are my three little girls and their dresses. <laughs> so it's so fun. <laughs> you have that great picture of your daughter on it's on our web page um in the twirly dress that first one that you showed us it's awesome thank you very good all right well thank you so much for joining us at the cardinal extravaganza jill and i hope that um we get 
someone shopping will help more people shop for those twirly dresses because truly <laughs> they will make for some magical gifts. But we're going to get away this $15 gift card. I see Claudia here just jumped in. She's usually my door prize winner, but I am imagining she's here with some other announcements. Is that the case, Claudia? Yes, I'm going to be announcing the auction winners for the first part of it. So for our paparazzi jewelry gift set, um, our auction winner is Lori McGuire. And then for our sparkling light up Christmas tree, it's Donna Free. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And then for our love overall gift set, it's Paige Myers. Sipology gift set, Donna Free. I can't pronounce that. And then for our last one, it's Treat Your Teen, Danielle Panowicz. Awesome. Thank you. So just a reminder that the second set of auction items is ending very soon. And I'm sure we'll have Claudio or another one of our fabulous students um, jumping on to announce those winners very, very soon. So um, don't forget to get over to the webpage and to bid on those auction items. All of the money raised through today's auction goes back to support the National Honor Society and the Educators Rising programs here at South Sioux City. We're gonna move on today to talk to our next vendor, um, Purple Goat Creations. And let's see, is she still here? Jennifer, you still here, Jennifer? She might not be here yet. Let's see um, if Jordan, Jordan, are you here? Yeah, hello. Hi. Hi Jordan, it's so nice to see you. So, Great to see you. Super exciting. Jordan is a former South Sioux City student and she's here today for the first time as a vendor. So one time Jordan was a student in my class. And it's like so a long time ago now. I feel like I'm aging myself, but thank you for having me. <laughs> growing up, it's so exciting to see our students who become adults and then now they're just like real people. So <laughs> We're I here. Love it. I yeah. Love it. Jordan, you got into this rodent and fields business and you're really excited and passionate about this product. So tell us a little bit about how you got here and what you're selling. Yeah, so two years ago, I kind of took a leap of faith and I was looking for a new skincare regimen and I was going through that phase of, I need something and I need it to work. So I got introduced to Rodan and Fields they have a skincare regimen, it seemed like for everyone. So I started trying the products. I started seeing results and I was like, I can make yeah, you know, a side business out of this and get products and get it for a discount, sign me up. And it's just been really great. There's something to try for everyone. Um, and of course it just makes my face feel amazing. And I'm a part of a community that is just fabulous. So it's been a great experience. So tell me, um, I don't know if this is personal or not, but tell me what was it about like, your skin that caused you to want to try these products? Yeah, so I have oily skin, which then leads to acne breakouts. And felt like in high school, I tried everything. In college, I tried everything. And I just needed something that was going to be a part of my day, my routine that wasn't taking medicine for it or something like that. And this was the perfect thing. I was already washing my face, but I needed something that worked when I washed my face. And these products soon showed me that I can add it to my routine and I can get some results from them. So. So your skin looks fabulous, by the way. And that's probably, it's not just because you're 20. Thank um, you. <laughs> No. <laughs> Tell us what you're using on your skin. So currently right now I use our unblemish, which is our acne regimen. It has anti-aging in it as well. It's a four step um, product system. However, the sunscreen, I don't use as much in the winter because I don't see sun obviously. But that is the one that I'm using currently right now. And I do at night our, it's our anti-aging main core regimen redefined. And it just got updated. So it's been really fun to see the new results that you can get out of it. 
I do use some products that I swear by. Our Lash Boost is my go-to. I add that to my regimen in the evening for lash growth. And I also have been doing our brow defining boost. It's, I never had eyebrows until this product came out and it makes your eyebrows look like you got a microblade it. So it's really fun tool um, to use and add to spice up your makeup in the morning. So one of the things that scares people the most about um, Rodan, is that, how, how do you say it? Rodan and Fields. Rodan, okay. Yep. Rodan is one of the things I've heard people say that kind of scare them the most about the product is the price point. And so they're afraid, like that's a lot of money to spend on something if you're not 100% sure, like it's going to work for you or not going to work for you. So if somebody was to just try one thing, what would you say? I would definitely 100% say our lash boost. Okay. You will see amazing results from that. Um, we of course have a skincare regimens and then we have essential items. So that would be my essential item recommendation. My other one for my teens would be our spotless. It's a two-step regimen, amazing, helps your kids wash their faces and see results. For adults, definitely would say the Redefine. The fabulous part about Rodan and Fields is it's very expensive. However, it lasts four months. So if you think break it down, it's pretty reasonable. Um, you don't have to use as much of our products. And we have a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you don't like it, it's not for you. Send it back in. Get your money back. So. Awesome. Um, Jordan, what else can you tell us? What else do we need to know about this? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're talking like something. I don't know anything about. Yeah, for sure. I'm so like the drugstore lady, like <laughs> you say to me when I go to Walmart and I'm buying like the Neutrogena off the shelf. Yeah. Convince me that I shouldn't be doing that. Right. So it's really, you, we kind of go to Alta and be like, I want this. I want that. I don't know why I want it. Well, on our webpage, which I have linked on the website that you guys have provided, you can go down and take a skincare solution quiz. When you do that, it will populate. It'll take you about five minutes to do. It'll give you a core regimen that is specifically made for your skin and then add on. So whatever you might also be looking for, say you want longer lashes, it will put it on there for you. Um, it'll recommend the bright eye complex. If you have some dark circles in the morning, like all of us teachers right now. Right. Mm -hmm. And so there's just add ons, but it will give you a specific regimen directed for your environment that you're in your skincare concerns that you have. And that's my go-to um, when ladies are like, I don't know what I need, but I have this problem, this problem, this problem, or I want to change this, this, and this. It'll specifically um, set up what you need from us and what products that you would benefit from. Awesome. So we talked a little bit about how that price point is the scariest part. And you have put together a door prize to help like counteract that scary. And so um, in this little bag that says thank you that um, Jordan put together, she um, has included a, I'm assuming this is a headband, right? Yeah, yep. That's a headband for washing your face and yep. Get your feet out of right. yourself, your hair out of your face. And um, there's a couple samples in here so that you yep. can try the samples, but probably most important um, is a gift certificate for $25 plus 10% off of yep. your first purchase. And so if you're interested at all in trying Road and Fields, you're going to want this door prize, right? Correct. So yes. Help me out. Be creative. How, who are we going to give this to today? Cool. For the first person to comment lash. Lash, all right. So you're gonna get $25 gift card plus 10% off your first order, plus some samples, plus a headband. And all you have to do is put lash in the comments on the Facebook and this is all yours. And you're gonna be able to touch base with Jordan. She's gonna give you um, an idea of what kinds of skincare products are good for your face. But one more time before we leave, Jordan, tell us, um, number one, I was writing some stuff down, teenagers. You have teenagers in the house who are struggling with their face. They need this. What is it? 
Yeah, our spotless. It's a two-step regimen. Two-step regimen. And tell me again, how much is the spotless? The spotless will be around 80 bucks. And I am giving out 10% off this weekend to ladies that click on my link on your website. Awesome. So, so 80 contact bucks. me. Yep. You can Ooh. text me and I will get you guys set up for it. So, and you said that the $80, it lasts about four months, right? Yes. Correct. Fabulous. Now I'm just a little North of 40, just a yep. little, little North of 40. What are we doing for me? I would recommend if you don't have any skincare concerns, but you want to start anti-aging our redefine regimen, four steps, morning and night. For morning and night. And the regimen is how much? That is around 160. 160. Yep. Okay. And again, lasts me about four months. Yep. And then if I'm not ready to make that big of a commitment and I just want like, this is the tool you should give a try to. What is it again? I would definitely say our lash boost. If you want to bring down the price range right now, as we head into winter, our active hydration serum is the most amazing lotion that I have ever tried. I've had this in my closet for going on six months and I'm not anywhere near to being done with it. So good yeah. Jordan, thank you so much for coming. I love seeing you all growing up and articulate and um, being super awesome. Jordan also is a teacher. And so we're celebrating teachers on this. And so how fun, former student and a teacher. And here she is giving back to new students who want to be a teacher. And so, gosh, Jordan, we appreciate that. We appreciate you being a part of our event today. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Jordan, so much. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Um, all right, Jennifer, are you out there? I am here. Fabulous. Yes. Jennifer's here from Purple Goat Creations. And Jennifer, tell us a little bit about Purple Goat Creations and what you're doing. Okay, um, I make handmade greeting cards and some gifts as well. Um, so a lot of times I try to make most of my greeting cards completely by hand. Um, sometimes I use like a die cut machine, like a crank die cut machine, not like the Cricut machine, but I'm starting to kind of maybe use some Cricut machine type things. Um, and I make all different sizes of cards and all different kinds. Um, like here's just like a, like a little baby, you know, card that I made. Like, uh, and I'm starting to get into kind of Christmas cards and those kinds of things now, since it's getting to be Christmas season. Um, and as well as Christmas gifts and those kinds of things. Um, and really, uh, I can make any card that anybody would want. Um, just, you know, they would just go on my website. It's, uh, you know, www.purplegoatcreations.com. And I could create, you know, personalized cards. I could um, put anybody's name in it. I could put a personal message. I could do a theme card. You know, if you would want unicorns and stars, I could do that. Or, you know, um, anything that anybody would want, I'd be able to do that. So... And tell us how much your cards run. Okay, um, so my cards, uh, the ones that I have already done um, run about $4. And then um, the personalized ones, if you want like a name or um, so, like a personalized message inside um, or just a message inside, then it would be a dollar more. If you want an actual themed personalized card, then it runs at eight, just because I might have to buy, you know, some, some certain things for that. Um, and I do gifts, I can do personalized gifts as well. And they just kind of vary um, on price as well. The ones I have done kind of vary depending on what it is. Um, I make coasters, um, they run about $4. I make some like, um, like I take some scissors and, and hydro dip them and some pencils and some pens and hydro dip those. And um, I make, I'm starting to kind of do, in, do some um, decorating kind of like things and, um, like just, they kind of run between like eight and 12 or so. Okay. So you mentioned that you do gifts. Can you talk a little bit more about what those gifts look like? Okay. Yeah. Um, so like here is a example of, a, like a kind of a gift you could give somebody to put on their door. Um, I know it's kind of getting over to be, you know, fall season. Um, so this is, uh, something that I hired at first and then, you know, put like blessed on it, obviously. Um, 
And then um, for like teenagers in the house, well, I just dropped that. Um, and then, like I said, um, I have some like pencil packs that would be like packs of five. And I don't know if you could see them real well, um, but they kind of are, you know, personalized and those kinds of things. Um, and then like I can hydro dip hats and um, kind of do something specific as well as um, just like, um, like little boxes if you know keep little items in and um, I can kind of make more specific boxes and decorate as well um, and then um, I can do uh, I'm going to start doing some Christmas ornaments and stuff coming up and I'll have those on my website as well and I'm going to be doing a lot more things for Christmas um, in the coming month or well, coming weeks I guess <laughs> so perfect um, tell us how to check out your inventory. Um, I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to keep up on my inventory on my website and I also am on Facebook as well. So, um, I will hopefully be better about keeping up on that. I have, you know, um, I'm going to be better about that. Um, since I, I, I just moved recently, so I'm, I'm going to have a little bit more time on my hands now, um, just, uh, with, uh, the move that I made. So, uh, I'll be able to do that a little more freely, not working as much. So, Perfect. well, Jennifer, we have um, some cards that you made and we want to give them away so that people can see what you're doing and then um, get on over and order some more of them. And so um, this is a really cute, happy holidays card with a car on it. The, um, I don't know, you can't tell in the picture, but these are 3d a little bit, or they have some, um, dimension to them yeah, yeah. and um so super cute card and then we have a really fun um race car birthday card and so we're going to give these away so that people can check out what your cards look like and get on over and order some from you so the first person in the comments on our um facebook who tell us who their favorite person to get a card from is. And can I just tell you, there is a lady here in South Sioux City. I'm going to give a shout out to her. Her name is Robin Lieber and she writes cards for everybody. And whenever I get a card from Robin, um, she'll send me a little note of encouragement in the mail. It is so special. And so I know that we're kind of in this time where we're texting or just shooting an email to somebody, but those handwritten cards are super fabulous. Um, and Robin's um Robin's my gal and when she sends me a card I um it just really touches me and so I want you to think about who are you getting cards from and that it just you love that and if you are the first person to make that comment in Facebook we're gonna go ahead and give you a couple cards so that maybe you can send a card back to them those handwritten cards super nice um so these are coming from purple goat creations and you want to get your hold on the free ones but Make sure that you head on over to Purple Goat Creations so that you can check out all of the cards that Jennifer has in stock. Jennifer, anything else that you can add um, to? Um, I, I, um, I'm actually planning on being um, at the show that's going to be in South Sioux City next week, actually. And so I will actually be there in person to have some items there as well. So. Oh, I love it. So we like to put a promo in because Adam, he just jumped on here and he's a big sponsor of that show that's coming up in South Sioux next weekend. And so um, he's going to be glad that you're there and that yeah. you can, um, people are going to be glad they can just come and shop the cards that you have on yeah. hand. So fabulous. Yeah. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for being here at the Cardinal Extravaganza and for supporting us here at South Sioux City High School. Yeah. We really appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I have another giveaway. I have so many giveaways. I have to do one more before we get going too far. I have another South Sioux City Spirit Pack. So our Spirit Pack is the clear vendor, our clear stadium bag and the t-shirt inside of it. And um, Lance, what do you think? What should our question be this time? What do we wanna know? I like to put him on the spot a little bit. Oh boy, we got maybe some uh, South Sioux City trivia. Like, what do we want to know? When was the, when was the uh, current high school originally built on its current site? Ooh, when was the current high school originally built? 
I don't know the answer. So you're going to have to let me know. And um, Claudia, well, actually, you probably need to let Claudia know so that she can um, check that out. If you know when the high school was built, you're going to get this T-shirt. You're going to get this um, stadium bag. And we're going to get that taken care of for you. So comment in Facebook when the current high school was built for a chance to get that free stadium bag. Now, she just walked away. I was moving towards you, Bobby Joe. All right, well, we will, um... oh, here she's coming, here she's coming, Bobby Joe, you're up. So, Bobby Joe is our Mary Kay vendor for this event. And you're going to want to listen to what she has to say, because when she gets done talking, I'm giving away Mary Kay gift cards to buy from Bobby Joe. So I've got two of them here, and I know she has some really, really great products that she's going to talk with you about today. So what do we got, Bobby Joe? First of all, hi, everybody. I'm actually from Oakland, Nebraska. It's about 40 minutes from South Sioux, and I'm actually used to live in South Sioux. So I'm kind of another area and I have some family up that way too. So do you know when the high school was built? No. <laughs> no, I've lived in here in Oakland for about 22 years now. So, <laughs> nope, sorry. So Mary Kay has been our best selling brand for 18 years and we are number one in America for skin care and color. And we're 55 years young. All of our products are stamped with the good housekeeping seal of approval. And we have been the facial beauty sponsor for Project Runway. And we have lots and lots and lots of products. So <laughs> I'm just going to go over just our basics. Um, like, for instance, I'm on the skincare set, TimeWise 3D Miracle Set. And it's a three-step process. And it has a four-in-one cleanser. So right here it is. So that's how the size of the bottle. And then a daytime cleanser. Uh, cream that you would put on in the morning and then at night you would do the night cream and then the eye cream. So anytime you want to try anything um, all you have to do is give me your name and number and I can send out samples to you and we could try it together virtually which is really nice so you can try first and then buy and all our stuff is 100% guaranteed so if it doesn't work out for you we can Exchange it or refund it, just to let you know. I really love that set. I mean, I could go into detail, but I don't wanna be on here forever. <laughs> so um, I'm actually 40, if you can't tell. So yes, I do use this all the time. <laughs> and then I have the microdermabrasion set right here. This is like uh, basically exfoliating your skin, which you would have to go somewhere professionally to do that, to get this kind of quality. And um, it's only $55 where versus it'll cost over $100 somewhere for just one time. So there is the microdermabrasion refine step and then the pore minimizer. So this would get all your dirt and gunk out of your pores and then pore minimizer would minimize your pores, of course. And if you ever want any more information, I have the links on this website too, for the my Facebook link and my Mary Kay website. So, and then just to kind of go over a couple of fun gifts for holiday, I have this Mad About Masking. It's $25 and there's four masking pods in here. It's uh, Miss Poor Frith, Poor Fect, sorry. Energy Queen, Lady Serenity and Dewey Gal. So something fun to do. And then also if you stand on your legs all day, I used to work at Subway for 19 years. So I stand on my feet all day long. I love this. This is Mint Bless Energizing Lotion for feet and legs. You'll just put this on and this is $11. And then it comes with a free pair of socks with it right now. That's a teacher gift right yes. there. You stand on your legs all day. That sounds fabulous. Yes, <laughs> I know what that's like, definitely. And only $11, that's a great deal. Yeah, yeah, it is. I agree. And then we have the hydrogel eye patches, which actually were on Good, Ameri 
Good Morning America last year. And they're quite easy to put on. This is kind of like if you stayed up all night long. Um, I have a two-year-old, so I don't get much sleep right now. And I'm pregnant, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a couple weeks. So yeah, I don't get very much sleep. So I love these very much. So there's a little tool on here. Yeah, they're here like this, and you actually put it down on your eye underneath like that. And they're really cute. They're like pink and the gel. So they're a little slimy and then you would put it up underneath. Oh my gosh. And what does that do? So that helps with puffiness, um, dark eyes, circles underneath, and it helps immunize it. I actually put pictures up on the site too. So you could see, yeah, what it does. <laughs> I always love pictures because then you're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I trust that now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I did see those pictures. I just didn't know what they were. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yep. And there's um, 40 pairs in it or 30 pairs, sorry, for $40 is how much that one is. And then I love this winter's coming up. So this is our satin lips uh, mm -hmm. set. It's $22 and it has the sugar scrub is basically what it is. It tastes like Fruit Loops. So if you want to eat it, you could, <laughs> and you would just scrub it on there, let it sit for a minute and then take it off. And then you would put on our balm right here. I love it because I get chapped lips all the time. And no matter what, like I was using Carmex before and my lips would just keep drying out. And I just use this like once a week and I'm completely fine. And actually your lips are only part on your body to this that doesn't exfoliate, so. Then we have all kinds of perfumes and usually they come in cute little boxes like thinking of you is one of them. This is a floral scent here. Uh, that's for $32 and you can always go onto the website and look at all the different kinds of scents that we have. And then one of my faves is the satin hands right here, three step process. So you would have A softener that you would put on first on your hands and then you would put the scrub on next to scrub it off with water and then you would put on the cream and I love this I, I said I used to work at Subway my hands used to get so chapped and they would bleed it all the time so uh love this one right now especially with COVID and everything going on well yeah and I was um, everybody's washing their hands so much more. And so that satin hands, and I've used that before. It's fabulous. It's super great. Um, it's also the item that you donated for our auction items. So yep. People can get that satin hands on auction, um, but even better if they can buy it from you too. So um, great set. I love it. And you said there's the satin hands and the satin lips. There's set, mm -hmm. like, set for your lips. It does the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually use the satin hands for my feet too, just to let you know. <laughs> so a little hint there, yeah. <laughs> and that's only $36. So, and there's actually a whole satin line, so I could go on for a while, but <laughs> that's our main ones for that. And then another one I just wanna go over real quick is our charcoal mask. So uh, another one of our best sellers, uh, really good right now when you have to wear face masks and you're breaking out. I've had a lot of my customers have that problem and it clears it right up. I use this only twice a week and you leave it on for 20 minutes and it's a wipe off mask. So it's a charcoal mask you said? Yep, mm -hmm. and it takes out 100 to 200 impurities. Perfect. Now you've been talking a lot about the skincare um, side of Mary Kay, but mm -hmm. definitely um, I know more about the makeup side of it. And so Mary Kay has a great makeup line as well. Yes. <laughs> and I was hoping Mackenzie jump on because she talks makeup pretty easily. But I was just going through like, I love the Mary Kay primer. That's like my favorite primer. And then I also love the um um the eyeshadow, though I'm I'm missing losing it now. The the creams. Oh, the creams, the yes. Cream, like and I have certainly tried to find less expensive versions of those two items and there's nothing like it. There's nothing that's the same. So do you um, have any ideas or can you talk a little bit about the makeup line? Um, sure. <laughs> I don't have any of the products to show, but 
Um, so like you were talking about the primer, actually I put it on this morning and it puts in all your cracks and crevices. So that way when your foundation goes on, you can't see all your pores and everything. So it's just nice and smooth. It's so um, nice. It's so smooth. Like, yeah, and it has SPF 15 in it as well. So it protects you from the sun. And then, yeah, we have all kinds of colors. I mean, I could go on and on and on forever. <laughs> Yeah, we have lipsticks and lip glosses. We just came out with a new lip gloss um, line, which actually is not sticky anymore. It's more like lipstick. So I really like that, that it doesn't really rub off or anything. Um, like you were talking about the eyeshadows, they're coming, they're magnetic and they come in your own little um, compact if you want to put in there. And they're only like $8 each. Uh, we have mascara as well that we have. We have all different kinds of mascaras. Um, there's like lash intensity, which is like if you want your eyelashes to touch the your glasses, if you have glasses on. Um, another popular one is our Ultima, Ultimate Mascara, which is $15. I don't know what else you want to know. <laughs> I just, I um, am a fan of the makeup. And so I wanted to make sure that we um, kind of highlighted that we had somebody um, recently talking about skincare, but we hadn't had anybody really talk about makeup. So I wanted to make sure that you had an opportunity to um, to show that you do both of those things. Yes. <laughs> so if you um, were to tell people like, I mean, I think probably everybody has heard of Mary Kay and they know what Mary Kay is and Mary Kay does, but what would be the product that you said, this is the product you should be checking out. I know you know Mary Kay, Mary Kay has been around for a long time, but this is the product that you should be checking out right now. What would be the one thing that you'd tell people to check out? Well, I would say right now with wear and mask, probably the charcoal mask. I really love that. And it helps out with your face. And then just washing your hands, I guess the second option would be the satin hand set. And both of those are great holiday gifts. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So tell me again, the satin hands, Um, what was the price point on that? $36. $36. So reasonable. So reasonable. And then the um, charcoal mask, and what was the price point on that one? $24. $24. So I love this that you just gave us two really great gifts under $50 and um, significantly under $50. And so what a great way to um, find something for your moms, your aunts, your cousins, um, really great options for them. Um, so we have some gift cards to give. Um, I have two $10 gift cards so people can get their hands on that charcoal mask and or satin hands or whatever maybe they're going to try the primer because we just talked about how fabulous it is. <laughs> um so help me give these away bobby joe um what do you think let's give the first one away what should we ask what mary kay ask? trivia oh boy <laughs> put me on the spot <laughs> so fabulous or gorgeous you can be fabulous or gorgeous with this gift card um, how about we ask people to just let them know, we talked about some of our favorite products. What's their favorite Mary Kay product? So the first person okay. to tell us what your favorite Mary Kay product is, is going to get a $10 gift card to um, shop with Bobby Joe today. And um, you can shop with her. Tell us how you can shop with you, how our um, customers can shop with you. So both of my websites are on this event um, through Facebook. And you, I have a shop link right on there that you can go to, or you can just get a hold of me either way. And then also the Mary Kay website as well. All right. So we said you had two gift certificates. Yes. <laughs> so one of them we're giving away for your favorite product. The other one we're giving away to the first person who can tell us the name of that line of products that you just talked about that you have for your hands, for your lips. You there's a whole product line of it that feels super awesome. Um, a big hint is in our virtual auction. And all you have to do is let us know the name of that product line and you're gonna get $10 to spend with Bobby Joe in her Mary Kay store. So um, we love that I have used that product line on my hands and they have a lip um, that same product line has a lip. What else is in that product line besides lips and hands? There's like a body butter and a sheet cream and, um, 
like a wash and lotion that you can use after you shower or in the shower or whatever. So there's a couple other products. Perfect. So tell us what your favorite product is and get a $10 gift certificate. Tell us what the name of that product line is. And, um, and we will um, get you this other $10 gift certificate. So Bobby Joe, thank you so much for being a part of the Cardinal Extravaganza. Thanks for hanging out. I know you had to hang out for quite a while as we were working through. We had some technical issues at the beginning of the day that put us behind, but we appreciate you um, joining in and being a part of this and good luck on being a mama again. Congratulations. Thank you. That's super fun. So I'm assuming you're probably about ready for a nap right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm due in a couple of weeks. So. <laughs> well, I remember if that's tough at the end there. You're just tired. Get your feet up. Mm -hmm. Get some of that <laughs> product that you use on your hands that you're going to use on your feet. You probably need someone else to help get that on your feet. So. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations. And thank you so much for being with us today. All right. Well, just real quick. Sorry. I forgot oh. to say that I have ship. Oh, did you put me off? No, no, you're here. Okay. <laughs> I just have uh, free shipping over $50 just to let you know. And then it's buy three items and get one, the fourth item free as well that I have going on. $10 so. plus buy three items, get the fourth one free. Yep. Of equal or lesser price. Yep. Girl, you all better <laughs> be getting your Mary Kay shopping on right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. So if you want to shop at Mary Kay, you go ahead and um, jump on over to the Cardinal Extravaganza webpage, and that will link you right up to Bobby Joe. You can get all of your items. She's got the buy one, get buy three, get your fourth thing free. Um, and people are watching because your gift cards are already gone. So okay. um, you could be doing awesome. a little bit of, of shopping. So um, thank you again for being with us. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we are um, getting close to coming to the end of our auction. So if you haven't um, bid on those final products in the auction, make sure that you do that. We have some really great things uh, left. And I am assuming that pretty soon we're going to get some more announcements about who the winners are of some of these final auction items. And so um, we'll be waiting anxiously for them to um, jump on and let us know. But in the meantime, we're going to take um, a look. Um, it looks like we have, um, hey, Barb, nice to see you. So we gave away Barb's gift cards for her poshiest friends earlier today. So um, hopefully, Barb, you saw somebody come, some people coming in and um, checking out your products. But why don't you tell the people who haven't been um have not been a part of Posh before, what you have. Now we know a little bit about Posh, you've been here. We've been kind of acknowledging all the people who've been vendors with us since the very beginning. And Barb, you are one of those people from, it's our third time doing it. You've been with us the whole ride. So we appreciate that. Um, let us know a little bit about Posh. What is that? Um, am I on now? You're on, you're on. Okay, well, thank you. So Posh is um, pampering products. We believe everybody needs to take a little time for themselves, which is so true. And if you're busy, 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 like so many people, sometimes all you can do is at a stoplight or waiting for that train going through South Sioux um, to just put a little hand cream on and just pamper your hands. Our, our hand creams are all grease free and they all smell amazing. So sometimes when I'm just stuck in traffic, I just put it on and take a few deep breaths and it kind of recharges me for the day. So we all would love to have a big spa day every day, but it's just not practical. So with Perfectly Posh, you can kind of have spa time whenever you have a few minutes. Perfect, I love that. So, um. You're talking about hand creams, which is so important because everybody is washing their hands so much more now and we're using the sanitizers and stuff. And so our hands are just getting dried out a lot more. Um, what kinds of hand creams do you have? How many different um, scents or what varieties do you have? And why should people buy your hand creams as opposed to some of the other hand creams that are um, being offered today? Um, the reason they should is because I just put this on and I can now get on my phone or on my tablet 
and run my finger across it and there's no grease left. So I can go open a jar, I can do whatever I need to do. It actually soaks into your hand. It has apricot kernel oil, aloe, um, shea butter. It has a lot of moisturizing things that even if you go hand, uh, wash your hands or sanitize, our hand cream um, will still be working because it's absorbed into the skin. So today, actually about, this isn't even available. This will be available at uh, four o'clock today. This is called Naughty and Spice. It's our new um, Christmas hand cream. So all the hand creams are $10 and if you buy five, you get the six free. So um, show me what your mermaid of is one of our most popular and that's juicy melon and coconut. We also have um, peach, peach hand cream. And these are all three ounces. Um, and the other thing about Perfectly Posh is we don't use fillers. So where normally you'd put a big glob of lotion on your hand with Perfectly Posh, you just put a little dime size amount of lotion on your hand. So we have this, we have lemon, lady lemon cello. We have probably about 10 different kinds of hand cream. If you go on the website, I've got a picture of a lot of them. This is jasmine and pear. So um, we have like 10 varieties. So uh, something for everyone. We even have a couple that uh, are good for the men. So That's a great thing. I'm glad you brought that up. We've been kind of focusing on the lady this um, event. And vendor fairs a lot of times focus on ladies, but you just said, hey, we have some products for men. And we've been talking about little stocking stuffers and stuff. And I always struggle with knowing what to put in my husband's stocking. It's super easy to load up two little girls stockings, but to find something for my husband's stocking. So what, can you talk a little bit about those products that you have that are good for men? Um, sure. Well, my husband uses all kinds of posh, but we have um, the gender bender. It's good for everybody, but it's a black um, charcoal. It's got activated charcoal in it. It's a bath bar that will take the black out of your skin if you're a mechanic. It's also detoxer, so that's great for men. We also have a lot of lip balms that are great for the men. Um, pretty much, um, let me think. Like a lot of, even the face wash is exfoliating, so you know men don't wanna take a lot of time if they get those little blackheads on their face or something. But if they use this face wash, um, they can use that and it deep cleans their face without them having to do uh, a face mask or anything. So, and a lot of the body butters are, we are gently fragranced. So our fragrance mostly comes from um, essential oils. So we don't have a lot of perfumey products. So the men can use a lot of, of those things. We also have a healer stick that um, fixes just about anything. Either it's, it's good for chapped lips, it's good for um, burns, cuts, scrapes. Um, kids with eczema like to use it. I think I have, um, I have a bunch of, oh, so here's that healer skin stick. It's, um, it's like our number one seller and men can use it. And if they're carrying something like this in their pocket, uh, to use for a lip balm or something. That's also good. And if they have trouble sleeping, we have a sleep one. So we just really have a lot of different things. Yeah. So you talked about people using it for eczema. And I'm thinking about um, a, um, a young man that I know who uh, it has eczema. What is in the product that would help him? Um, it's Shea butter and essential oils is all that it is, but it's a natural moisturizing um look it's it's a I don't know it's a stick so it goes on and it doesn't leave grease so a lot of kids um they get different lotions and they feel like their skin is greasy afterwards and this I know that my hairdresser's kids they actually showed me that you can take the lid off and put it on the bottom <laughs> and they were very comfortable just using this on their own bodies and then um they it was just easier than getting a lotion and putting it on. So, and a lot of times the natural ingredients work best rather than um, some things that have a lot of different chemicals in them. 
So the citrus essential, there are essential oils too that are in here with the shea butter. Awesome. All right. Well, Barb, if you were to recommend one item that people who haven't purchased Posh before, you said this is the item that you need to try first, what would you tell people to purchase? Oh, well, that's a hard one. But I would say, if I could say two, I would say either the healer stick, well, the healer stick or the gender bender bar are the, the things that people come back over and over for um, Posh has been around eight years and these two products have been with Posh the whole time. I have my husband's friends, they, they use the gender bender bar a lot and the healer, most people who have a healer will always have one with them. I have it in my purse all the time. So, so that's what I would recommend. Excellent. Well, Barb, how can people um, purchase those things? If they wanna um, buy that, where would they go? They can go to my website, which is um, just haley.po.sh, or they can call me. My phone number uh, is 712-251-1748. I always have products um, on hand. Uh, and if somebody wants me to wrap something up special for Christmas, I can do that too. So those are their options. And again, do you have a lot of people to buy for? Our products are all buy five, get the six free. So if you have six people to buy hand cream for, you can get six hand creams for $50 and spend less than $10 a piece. Perfect. Barb, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for being a part of the Cardinal Extravaganza and for faithfully being a supporter of Educators Rising and NHS in this event. We sure appreciate um, you just always being here for us and with us. So thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to share my posh. <laughs> well, I love it. And let's get poshy, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. We have, um, I know we're going to be announcing our virtual auction winners very soon. The kids, I wish I could show you, but I'm not mobile. Um, have been the um, people that are sending you your reminds and they're working all the behind the scenes. You've probably seen Claudia putting posts up. Those are all our students who are working here for you today. And so um, I want to give a shout out to them and kudos to them because the reason that we have this event at all is so that we can support and showcase our students and celebrate all of the things that are happening here for them. And remember um, that all of the money that you're spending today um, on the auction items are those go back to supporting our students and then we want to encourage you to spend money with our vendors because those auction items are their donations to um, our students and to the programs that we have here and we certainly would not be able to run our programs if our vendors weren't behind us and so please support them please um, get your holiday shopping done with them we love to wrap our arms around our community and um, small businesses right now, especially now, need our support more than they ever did before. So please, please shop with Barb and all of the other vendors that we have um, today. We have a few more giveaways and I know Adam's sitting here, he's getting anxious to talk to you about um, his oils, but we have, um, let's see what else I have back here. I have another Cardinal bag. And whew, I have a 2020 high school yearbook. And so one of the things that I need to let you all know is that we have yearbooks from last year that are still for sale. For only $35, you can get a South Sioux City yearbook. All you have to do is head over to the Cardinal Extravaganza webpage. There's a Google form for you to fill out. And um, you will be contacted to um, make arrangements to pick up this yearbook. And so all of, all of those seniors who didn't get quite a chance to finish their senior year the way that they would have liked to, um, this is a great gift. And for only $35, it's not um, something that's gonna break the bank, but it's gonna help them remember those last few memories of high school that they had last year. So get your hands on the 2020 South Sioux City High School yearbook. This one that I have in my hands is a giveaway. And so we're gonna give this yearbook to the first person 
who tells us in our chat their favorite memory from the 2020 school year. We would love to see this yearbook in the hands of somebody who is going to cherish it for years to come. So let us know your favorite memory of the 2020 school year, and then you're going to get this yearbook. If you don't happen to win, don't forget, you can order your yearbook for only $35 at the Cardinal Extravaganza website. I also have one more giveaway here. I have one more spirit set, the clear Cardinal bag and t-shirt. And we've been celebrating educators all day long. We have so many um, future educators that have popped on. We also have um, so many of our vendors are educators themselves or former educators. And so it's so fun to see the world of education kind of come together in this way. And so this bag is going to go out to the first person in um, our class, our Facebook Live, who just comments on their favorite educator. Who was your favorite teacher growing up? We all had one. And so go ahead and make a comment. We want to celebrate those educators. Even better if you can tag that educator and let them know that you appreciate them. And we're going to go ahead and give this bag to the first person who tags their favorite educator. Now, wrapping up our vendor list here is, um, oh, Adam, I'm going to have you hold one more time. It looks like we have some announcements to make about the auction. You good with that, Adam? Sure. Sure. All right, so Claudia is back and she has the um, some announcements for who our auction winners are. And so we're gonna go ahead and let her let us know. You're gonna have to okay. go there. You go. <laughs> so we have the Cardinal fan hoodie and hat pack, which is gonna go to Alyssa Williams. And our Holly Jolly Christmas set is going to Pam Potter. Our Pampered Chef gift set is going to go to Debbie Hammer. Our Tastefully Simple gift set is for Lori McGuire. And our Scentsy gift basket is for Kristen Smith. Awesome. And we're finishing up with getting those final auction items um, figured out. And so I'm sure that we're going to have Claudia on here in just a few more minutes announcing those last auction items. If you won an auction item today, or a door prize. We wanna make sure that we get that into your hands as soon as possible. We're gonna be here at South Sioux City High School until about 2.33. We'll probably be here till about three o'clock today. And so if you can come and pick it up today, that's great. Otherwise, I know on the auction items, you had an opportunity to um, select some different delivery methods. And so we'll go ahead and um, get that arranged. But if you are able and um, sitting around and need, um, need some place to go today, um, let us know, and we would be glad to get your auction items delivered to you today um, while you're here at the high school. So um, just let us know, and we will make those arrangements. And now, without further ado, we have Adam. Adam, you're going to turn on your camera. Let us know a little bit about your oil business. All right. So my name is Adam, hence Think Outside the Bottle with Adam. Um, I was, I've been doing doTERRA since 2015, so but I signed up in 2016. So I just had my four year to anniversary in May. Um, they are pure certified therapeutic grade oils. I do not mark them up. I got into them for health, not wealth. So it's literally the retail cost, or I'm sorry, the wholesale cost plus tax. Um, and if we are local, we can work out delivery or whatever. Um, and then there were people that didn't necessarily believe in the use of essential oils for different things. So I expanded the business with essential oils, accessories, and more. And so what that looks like is for the accessories portion, these are car vent diffuser clips. This would happen to be a hibiscus. So it opens magnetically from the side. You get the 18 different colored pads. They are washable, reusable, because it is a thick felt material. And you're able to put the essential oil of your choice on them. You get to say goodbye to the trees and the Febreze. While I can't do new car, black ice, nor leather, we can switch you to essential oils, which are holistic and a lot better. Um, I also do some THC-free CBD. Reach out to me. The uh, bio range link is on my site. 
I'm not going to get into that. Um, and then also I do crystals, gems, and uh, stones as well. I just didn't have enough room um, or my other half would have just flipped if I had put everything out today. I do handmade lava bead bracelets and I have about 350 designs of the car vent clips. And if you're wondering like for the impossible guy to shop for, well, here's our perfect teacher gift for the year. I managed to just get these, oops, I stopped the video. Wrong button, right button. So this is actually an apple for your teachers or mentors. And then these are not officially licensed products, whether it be Deterra, Canaway, or otherwise. But we have, let me see if I can get out here better. The Dodge, the Chevy, Ford, the stuff for guys that may not be, um, if you've got a Harley fan that's been modified, superheroes, just a different a variety of things, whether it be crosses. All of this is on my page as far as um, everything goes, except I think I forgot. And these are the different colored pads that you get, which is also on the site. Um, so like I said, they are washable, reusable. Normally they are 12 or two for 20. I'm going to knock that down to 18 for two and 34 for four. Um, and then if you're local, we'll figure out delivery. Um, and it's one of those things where I will also be at a couple other local events coming up, but that's kind of where I went because not everyone believes in the holistic properties of oils. Um, uh, back to you, Amber, for a minute or two and we'll, you know, any other questions? Yeah, absolutely. Now, Adam, you, um, had a fabulous show with us last year. And so I know that people are familiar with your products and all of the things that you do. And so the idea behind these um, car vents is that um, you put a little bit of oil on the felt piece and you can interchange that color to whatever your decor is. And then that clip can go in your car vent. And I imagine it can go in, in many other places, but then it just kind of slowly diffuses those oils into the air. And so whether or not you um, are in on board for oils for medicinal purposes, you can still enjoy the aroma of the oils um, themselves. Is that true? That is totally true. And it's one of those things where it does not have to be a doTERRA oil. Since he makes oils, there are oils available in the store for sale. Um, I can't guarantee what you're getting unless I know it's doTERRA, which is certified pure therapeutic grade. Most are ingestible um, as far as the doTERRA line goes. So there are no alcohol additives or fillers. My favorite doTERRA product really quick um, is the Breathe Vapor Stick. And so I fight allergies all the time. Um, my other half snores too much. So at night, after I've washed my face, I literally just do this and this. And you can see how it's not even really greasy at all. And it helps with my allergies. I don't wake up um, with any issues or anything like that. I believe that is $11.50 online. Um, also, to note, the holiday products just came out on November 1st. We'll be selling out soon. The Holiday Joy is a very um, limited time oil. Um, and so it's one of those things where um, I will be at the Elks Lodge next weekend on Saturday. And then I will be at the Marriott um, in South Sioux City next Sunday from 10 to 3. Um, and that will be on my page as well. Um, and actually, it's kind of a different approach since I did do some sponsorship. Um, it will be the crystals, the gems. Um, my mother is actually getting back into like the vending world. She and I vended when I was a kid. Um, and if I had been in the state your first year, Amber, I would have definitely done your show. Um, but uh, basically, it's one of those, there will be um, the double sided. Uh, earrings instead of just one-sided with the white exposed they are not going to be large they'll be handmade cards all the vent clips will be there 
um, some oil products, and then I have a psychic medium that's supposed to be there. Um, my crystal grid re reader backed up because of COVID. I may have massage, and then I will have a tarot card reader there as well with some tarot decks um, as well, because it's one of those. Um, what I love is, you know, just being open-minded and um, it's obviously not meant to force anything down anyone's uh, position or religion or anything like that, but just to have these types of things acknowledged in the Sioux City area um, is really important. And so I want to give you um, a, a shout out because I, what we're talking about is that you, this vendor fair that's happening at the Delta here in South Sioux City next Sunday, right? Mm hmm and you're a big sponsor of that show. And so we, in the vendor world, we all scratch each other's backs. We're um, promoting, and that's just one of the beautiful parts about being a part of the community. Um, and so people, if they're interested in looking at your clips um, and they're not getting enough from the pictures and the videos that are on our site, they can head on down to the Delta next Sunday and look at them in person. And Absolutely. More about that. And the oils will also be available. Normally it's 13 or two for 24 with the oils. If you're looking to just give an easy gift, the only problem is no one can really smell an oil over a virtual event. So that's why I wasn't offering them up today. Yeah. And it's one of those, it's 10 to three. I believe there's a toys for tots fundraiser going on with that as well. Um, but yes, I do have a 20 by I think it's 70 size area um, that will have some different stuff in it. And like I said, you know, it's really cool. That my mom and I are back to vending. Like she did candles when, when I was seven or eight and I always helped. And I think that's where I probably got the, you know, the vendor world um, eventual um, leap. Yeah. And so um, people, if they're interested in buying oils can head on over to the Cardinal Extravaganza page and, your link to doTERRA is right there so they can get their oils if they want to from the website. They can get the oils from the website, but they're going to pay full retail. Okay. So want something and you contact me and say, Hey, I want this, you know, cause I am going to be putting an order in this week. And it's one of those things where I need, you know, I would like to get this or I would like to get that. My other second uh, favorite product is the peppermint beadlets. They're, uh, little beadlets that have peppermint oil on them. One equals breath freshener, popping one on the side and the hairline and temples equals headache, not intent. And then three, um, two or three, swallow, swish with water down the stomach equals uh, upset stomach, not intended to cure, diagnose, treat, any disease disorder condition, not FDA approved. However, that's my other favorite product. So it's one of those, just contact me individually. I will not, if you reach out to me and you like are looking for something and then decide it's not gonna, it doesn't work or whatever, I will not chase you. I'm not here to sign you up for multi-level marketing. I'm just here as a business owner today to make a difference and that can take a lot of different shapes. Um, I know that when you were here last time, um, last year, you had products, you had some like different products besides the vendor um, vents. And so some of them were really, we've been kind of on this teen kick all day long. Um, do you still have any other products? Or are we just looking at the vendor clips right now? Um, I do have the crystals and stones, which some people get drawn to for meditational purposes or just um, they like the appearance of them. I do have the lava bee bracelets for the essential oils. Um, I have quite a few of them. I need to make some more this week and that should be determined on um, getting everything, uh, you know, organized and time management for the week. But I do have them and I have a, a few of them with semi-precious stones such as rose quartz, amethyst, or just some other different types of beads. Um, but I do still have the lava bead bracelets. I have a few of the leather bracelets that I had last year left with our, our double leather wrap, smaller size pad. They're uh, 25 millimeter versus the 30 millimeter on the size for the vent clips. Um, uh, uh, 316 L stainless steel. Um, and if you do come over, you know, from seeing this next week, mention SCC live. And, you know, you'll get a smaller discount. You'll get some type of a discount on everything um, if you don't want to do anything today. But if you, you know, it's just if it's not clear enough for you because there's 
350 and it's too many to look at virtually, um, definitely feel free to stop by next week and just mention that. Yeah. So I love your um, clips. And so what I just want to kind of reiterate to anybody who's watching a couple of things, if they want to get oils, they should just reach out to you and all your contact information is on the Cardinal Extravaganza webpage and they can reach out to you and you can hook them up with some oils at a pretty good price. And then um, the vent clips that if they are interested in looking at them, they're on our Cardinal Extravaganza page. But if they want to see all of them, they should just jump on over to the Delta next Sunday and they can um, they can shop with you. And um, just they should just mention that, hey, they heard about you at the Cardinal Extravaganza and you'll hook them up. Yep. And then there will also be some handmade cards there as well. Um, just a variety of different things. Like I said, um, I may have someone doing chair massage. It just depends because in the like with COVID and everything that's going on, like I've had a couple people that were, um, actually it changed the business name for next week into think outside the bottle with Adam and the mystics, um, was just kind of an add on. Um, but there will be a ton of different products, um, for sale next week. And just mention you were at, you know, you saw it on, you saw me with, you saw me unshaven, you know, at SCC <laughs> and, you know, I'll, I, I'll, I will get you taken care of. Um, I do, like I said, have some Scentsy oils as well. Um, everything is pre-poured, set aside. So I pour with gloves and pipettes. And so it's not been touched by everybody in, you know, everything. So it's as sterile as I can keep it. Okay. Adam, thank you so much for being here today. Is there anything else that we want to shout out to our customers? Um, thank you all for supporting local, whether it be me, whether it be anyone and that's part of the extravaganza because local businesses do matter. Um, some people do do this as a full-time job um, or full-time, you know, career path. Some people have taken it on as a side project in retirement, but whatever it is, we all have been really um, locked down on the number of shows and our inventories um, or, you know, just, you know, having no shows in the spring at all because everything just flat out canceled. Even having this, um, you know, virtually has been different, which is okay. Different's not bad. Different's not good. It's indifferent. Um, but just, you know, supporting local businesses is really important and in the community and everyone seemed to be, um, on point today with their presentations and, you know, being, you know, I don't think we had anybody from like Texas or anything coming up, even though they'd still be a small business. And that's important too, is your smaller businesses. Um, did you, or how did we do my, um, my donation? Was it a raffle? Or it was, was it a, a raffle, but there's still, were, or it was an auction item. Okay. It was an auction item. An auction I didn't item. know. Cause that kind of showcases, um, a little bit of the products that I can range from. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's on an auction item. So I'm hoping that people got to get their bids in and, um, I haven't really been seeing that, um, that side of it yet. So we will, uh, we'll hear soon from them right. where it goes. Okay. Thanks so much, Amber. And thank you everybody for watching. Yep. Thank you. So one of the things we wanted to do at the Cardinal Extravaganza that we still um, are going to do is we want to showcase a couple more students before we walk out. But before I get to the Gamsa, I'm going to get to him because he wants to talk about our multicultural club. Um, we have a couple of door prizes that weren't claimed, and so we're going to try to give them away again. So um, at the beginning of our show, we had three face masks from the purse lady. I would love to give these face masks away to somebody. If you are interested in these, would you comment masks in our, cha um, in our chat? And we'll get these to you. I also... Still have my Tupperware eye cleaner, eyeglass cleaners, and these are great for your cell phone. They're great for um, um, your glasses. Um, they're super small, super convenient to tuck in wherever. So if you um, think that this is something you could use, I would love to give these to you.
go ahead and put Tupperware in the comments button and we'll make sure that these are yours. So I have masks if you're interested. I have three of them, a soccer one, a camel one, and um, a, I don't know what this one is. It's got little designs on it. And then masks for these and Tupperware for the eyeglass cloths. And we're gonna go ahead and get those to the first person who comments that. Now, before we move on, um, oh, hold on a second. We still need it. Oh, and we still need somebody to comment about their favorite memory to get a high school yearbook. So we like to give that away today too. So while we're waiting for those door prizes and for um, our group to get on and let us know about the last auction winners, we're gonna um, chat with Tecumseh here. Tecumseh is a member of our um, multicultural club here at school. And we know that here in South Sioux City, one of our greatest assets is our diversity and how um, many different cultures are represented within our school, the languages that are represented in our school. And um, we, it's just really rich here. We love it. Um, and so one of the organizations that the school um, has for students to get involved in is called our Multicultural Club. And so Tecumseh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your own culture? Hello, um, my own culture is Oromo. You know, I'm from Ethiopia, one of the biggest countries in, um, in Africa. Oromo is our um, culture that we every time we celebrate and we prepare different kinds of food and show our talents, especially the students. Um, that's where I'm from. Okay, so can you tell me why you think that celebrating and acknowledging your culture is really important? Um, it's basically knowing yourself, you know, knowing where you're from, uh, knowing every, um, you know, your dad. It's basically somebody, if somebody asks me, you know, why do you need to know your name? Uh, it's basically like that. So, and knowing yourself and, and gives you some talents from, you know, from your ancestors to uh, young generations. <clears throat> and then it's fun, you know. Uh, you know, the more you know the story, you know, the more you get interested in your family, you know, and have respect for your elders. Yeah. I love that. And um, I agree with you. It is so fun to learn about other cultures and learn to appreciate. And um, we, the more we know about each other's cultures, the easier it is for us to interact with each other and to appreciate each other a little bit more. And so um, that's really one of the goals of the multicultural club here at South Sioux. Is that correct? Yeah, true. Um, we basically have different kinds of music, you know, whether it's a Mexican, uh, whether it's uh, Laos, uh, whether it's, you know, um, Oromo, whether it's uh, Somali, you know, different kinds of uh, foods and musics. And, you know, we, we have a, one of the fun thing about multiculture is games, you know, everybody had, you know, they have different kinds of games, you know, um, from their own country. Um, bringing that to uh, here in South Sioux City High School, you know, uh, telling how you play this game, you know, uh, okay, let's let's play this game, you know, we used to play this back then in um, where you're from, you know, um, it's, 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 it's really fun, you know, to be honest, um, we have events that like prepare foods and uh, you know, uh, perform dances, you know, it's, it's interesting. So if students are watching today and they're interested in being a part of the Multicultural Club, how do they get involved? Um, it's, you don't have to be in, you don't have to, you know, dance or you don't have to, um, you know, show your talents or prepare food if you're in multicultural. And you can definitely, uh, reach out to uh, Mrs. Boda and or to me or to other students, you know, ask them and um, to just sign up and you can be in there just listening, you know, having fun, you know, you don't have to do anything and uh, you just go there, you know, watch movies, you know, uh, watching different kinds of dances and food, eating different kinds of food, you know, and you involved in many ways. You can do a lot of stuff. 
if you don't want to do it, you can just be in there, you know, have fun, you know. <clears throat> Listening is one of the, the uh, important thing we do in multicultural club. I love that you said that. Listening is one of the important things that we do. And gosh, it comes that we could all learn from that statement. If we just listen to each other, we learn so much and we can really enjoy and appreciate each other. So I just wanna thank you so much for talking about the Multicultural Club. Um, if you're watching, Decomes has been here all day long and he has been kind of behind the scenes running the door prizes and helping with the auction items. And so um, he's. I'm gonna have him stick around here for just a minute because he's also a member of our National Honor Society. And so, um, they're going to talk about that in just a second. But um, before we talk about National Honor Society, Zayden has joined us to give us a few more auction winners. All right. <clears throat> so I've got four auction winners. Uh, the first one is the Sipology gift set. The winner for that gift set goes to Donna Freehe. Then for the tastefully simple gift set, the winner is Lori McGuire. For the Cardinal Sparkles gift set, the winner is Nicole Olson. And lastly, for the Celebrate Family gift pack, the winner is Annie Pierce. Nice. Thank you, Zayden. So, um, Zayden and Kamsa, you guys are both members of National Honor Society. And so would you mind spending a couple of minutes talking about um, National Honor Society? And what are you guys working on? What are you doing? Um, what does National Honor Society mean? Um, National Honor Society is basically involving, you know, uh, helping um, each other out and, and, and basically it's community service, you know, um, when you do community service and whether it's in school or in your uh, family or um, in your community, it, it's, it's serving others and, 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 and every time being there for um, others and and helping each other out. Right, right. <clears throat> so uh, also a National Honor Society. Uh, the society is basically meant to uh, help the leaders and the uh, moral leaders in our uh, like school. And we have four biller, pillars that we are supposed to, supposed to be building off of. We are supposed to be uh, developing our character our scholarship, our leadership, and our service. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of this. Um, we, we always do our service hours. We're always learning and developing more by interacting with new and people. And uh, we're always able to keep up our grades, otherwise we wouldn't be in the society anymore. I think that the society, this National Honor Society, is a great uh, place for students if they want to uh, develop become a better person overall and uh, to maybe have a good time sometimes doing uh, some volunteer work. Awesome. So if you were to um, say one thing that you've gained from being a part of National Honor Society, both of you, could you just tell us one thing that you have um, gained you think as a person from being a part of this organization, what would you say it is? Um, personally, I think I have been able to, uh, become more of a leader, uh, step up to the plate more. And, uh, honestly, I would never have done this, uh, community service before if I didn't need to. And now I learned that I love this stuff. I want to keep doing more of it and more of it whenever there's an opportunity or if, uh, it's available to where I can actually use my skill set that I have currently and apply it to the uh, job that I actually have taken up. Thanks. Tecumseh, what about you? What have you gained from being a part of National Honor Society? Um, to be honest, making friends. And, and when I say making friends is, is that, you know, in, uh, in school or out of school, and you always trying to um, uh, get, you know, uh, as much as friends you, you know, uh, you can get. 
is that showing your you know being nice in being nice to them that they will like you or uh, and and that that will you know change your life that when you need somebody they will be there for you as well as you will be there for them you know uh it is that making friends because you help them and they will be a uh, friend and they will also uh improve you know uh sometimes we need people you know and yeah, we need friends and, and we need each other and it's it's being there for each other you know um it's not only volunteering hours you know you don't have to volunteer hours that much and like oh i'm doing for volunteer i don't care about anybody is that that volunteer is has meaning you know and that's why I like uh national society Thank you. So both Zayden and Kamza, I just want everybody to know, have been here for the majority of the day. They've been working um, behind the scenes. You haven't seen them, but they've been running around. They've been working the tech side of this program. And I would love to see, I know you guys got a chance to see Claudia. Um, she's been over there monitoring all of the door prize items um, and responding on Facebook today. Um, and Shelby and uh, Maggie, and Maritza are out in the hallway. They've been sending you remind messages about your um, your auction items. And so um, I want you to know, you've seen a lot of me today, but kids have been here. They're an integral part of um, today's event. And they're really why we do what we do. And so um, I wanna thank Zayden and it comes, I want you guys to thank for coming on and talking today. And I also wanna give a shout out to all those kids who um, have been a part of today. And um, Tecumseh, I know, was part of the um, student council, too. And, and um, we did play their video, or I shared their video out, but we were unable to play it. Maybe he could just talk for two seconds about their um, closet there yeah. and uh, their stuff. Yeah. So the student council, Tecumseh, you want to talk about what you guys are doing? Are you muted? I think. You're muted, so make sure you unmute. not working it's not working all right well i'm going to go ahead and i'll read the auction items one more time to comes if you can un um mute if you can get that figured out we'll have you talk about student council here before we go but i'm going to just read through um our auction winners one more time um we have the paparazzi jewelry set when the winner was Lori mcguire the light up christmas tree was donna free the love all over gift set Paige Myers. The Sipology set, Donna Free. Treat Your Teen, Danielle Panowitz. The Cardinal Fan Hoodie and Hat, Alyssa Williams. The Holly Jolly Christmas set, Pat Potter. The Pampered Chef gift set, Debbie Hammer. Tastefully Simple, Lori McGuire. The Scentsy Basket, Kristen Smith. Um, 31, Patty Jacobson. The Norwex, Mary Hacker. The Snap Jewelry set, Tracy Jensen. Cardinal Sparkle Packet, Nicole Olson. The Essential Oils Package, Carrie Cravens. The SSC Spirit Pack, Chris Vondrat. The Satin Hands and Luscious Lips, Rose Brewer. The I Love My Teacher Set, Cindy Weber. Celebrate Family Set, Annie Pierce. And the Crush It Bow Tote, Wendy Milligan is the winner. If you are the winner and you're local and you want to swing by and pick up your items, we're going to be here at the high school for probably another hour or so, um, maybe 45 minutes. And um, we would love for you to come grab that stuff right today. But otherwise, we'll go ahead and make some arrangements with you to get that um, taken care of here in the next week. So you can feel free to um, contact the, uh, use the remind text that you got to, um, send us a message back and we'll get that taken care of. So before we sign off today, we wanna um, let Tecumseh talk to us a little bit about student council and the coat drive that you guys have going on in your food pantry. Yeah, um, student council, we do a lot of, can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, with the student council, we do a lot of uh, activities that, um, you know, involved in our school. <clears throat> Uh, our biggest fundraising is like homecoming and we decide like on the homecoming themes and we uh, decorate and 
uh, decide the dress up um, days and coronations and assist with the parade and decorate the, for the dance and stuff. Um, for the second thing is that, you know, uh, help um, stand representing students, Sasu City students that, you know, when they need something or um, when we trying to tell them, you know, uh, what is going on and giving uh, them updates about um, what is going on in the school, you know, what kind of, um, especially like, uh, we translated um, a census video, we did census video to the community and we translated into Spanish in Oromo and, and send it to the, posted it on our uh, social media. And then we also helped with the college fair, you know, uh, high, the high school hosted and we uh, helped with the college representative and uh, you know, getting them to the tables and giving them waters, you know, um, snacks and stuff. And we also participated in legislative trip to Lincoln. We meet the governors, uh, governor, and um, and we watched the uh, legislature legislature debates. You know, it, it was fun. You know, we do a lot of stuff, and this kind of stuff is basically. In for like, um, you know, helping in in stand representing uh, Sasu Sasu City High School, and in the state wise, you know, we participating in the state conventions and and going, uh, and and everywhere that showing that Sasu City students are there for you know for states not only for school. And the other thing is that we do in our school uh, um, blood drives, you know, happens every year, every, uh, twice a year. Uh, unfortunately, this year uh, we couldn't because of COVID. And we encourage uh, all of our students um, who are above uh, 17 or older to donate blood. And we usually uh, between 25 to 30 students and staff, uh, staff uh, members participate in the blood drive. And we're hoping to, you know, uh, reschedule for this spring um, to donate uh, blood drive. And we have a make a wish, the statewide, uh, statewide uh, charity that we work um, for, uh, send money, you know, it's, it's fund, uh, state fundraisers. So we um, send money to them uh, for the, um, make a wish, Nebraska make a wish fundraising. And the money is we get from concession stands and, and some kind of stuff, but um, the, but the biggest thing is concession stands that we raise money, send it to donate it to the Nebraska make a wish. Um, we also celebrated um, a, be a part of the fifth, uh, 15th birthday of the um the mini dome you know we help them selling out the um taverns and and working uh, concession stands and and that money do we donated to nebraska make a wish also a student council we have a code drive uh a code meetings a hat and and, and to those students that are need, in need of those um uh winter uh closes and if students want to get any, any of, uh, you know, especially now it's winter time, they need a jacket um, and they need, um, you know, gloves and stuff. If you guys want anything, just um, email or contact your uh, counselors or come uh, reach out to me or um, any of student members, student uh, council members, so they can get you. And if you don't have, if you don't want to tell us, you want to keep it, uh, you know, secrets and you can just write it down, your names, your, uh, um, your email and your grades. So you drop, we have a dropping box by the, our store that we stored. You can drop it there and we can get you uh, your um, whatever you need, you know.
and we also have a food drive that we know uh, we um, help out those who in need. Um, we have a lot of foods, but um, I can't name them all right now. And we do this kind of stuff. So it sounds like you guys are really busy and um, there is a lot of help available. Student Council is taking care of the students here at South Sioux City through food and for um, clothing that they need for the winter. And so we wanna make sure that people know that that's available to them. So thank you for talking about that and sharing about that. Yeah, you're welcome. So that's it guys. We are wrapping up the Cardinal Extravaganza. Not too bad. We're only about 30 minutes behind schedule and that um, that's okay. We had a great day here. We wanna thank everybody who participated, who bid on items, who um, are shopping our vendors. And I wanna encourage you to continue to shop our vendors. Even after we get off live, they're gonna have their um, links on the webpage and you can um, certainly take a look at them, reach out to them, ask questions and support them because um, those small businesses, again, they, are, they need our support. We wanna embrace them. And um, all of our vendors have been so courteous, not courteous, so supportive of the programs that are happening here at South Sioux City. And we are sure appreciate that. And we appreciate everybody um, participating in an event that looks just a little bit different this year, like so many other things. And so I wanna give a shout out to all the kids who are here helping and to Lance, who's taking care of the tech side of things for us today. And I wanna thank you one more time for just participating in the Cardinal Extravaganza.